All right, man, we back. Another episode of Random Acts of Podcast. The last episode before we get put into slavery, man. Yeah. Trump, yeah, Trump spanking Kamala right now. That's me but, warming up my hands because of the spanking this nigga is delivering. Yeah. <laughs> get your head, get your hands ready for that uh that that cotton hey, whatever. <laughs> you literally gonna be a cotton picker. That's the name that's, of this episode. That's cotton insane. picker, man. That's Co- insane. The cotton picker episode. That bro. is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I don't care, bro. As long as I get to wear my one of my Marlin hats on the field, it's all good, man. <laughs> That's all I want, Master. <laughs> just, just let me shine with my I hat. I don't ask for a lot. Let me wear some Jordans and a. But what the fuck? Let me wear some Jordans and a uh, and a barless hat. We good to go. I don't know if y'all heard that. Somebody outside moaning. I don't know what's going on, bro. Joe, where the, where the fire, at, bro? Cause cause niggas out here wilding, bro. Actually. Oh, this nigga Joe know who moaning. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, somebody outside moaning like I don't know what the fuck going on. But uh, what happened? I kind of want to poke my head out there and see what's going on. Nah, but. bro, it's them all. Uh, the Mexicans outside. I already know who they voted for. We ain't got a. We ain't even got to think about. It. We know who the Mexican dudes out there voted well, for. Well, it's clear. I mean, we know who Florida voted for. <coughs> Yeah, you heard that song last week. That's definitely gives away. Yeah, a couple of the motherfuckers that's outside. I, I told s- y'all. You talking about that Trump song? Or you talking about the Mexicans voting? Um, that Trump song. That uh, with, when they when they dropped that uh, Trump got my vote. I will vote for Trump. Yeah. Whole state on lock. Florida is known as a Spanish state now. I don't know about that. Hey. I see more Haitians. In, 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 in the regards of uh, politics, Florida is a Spanish state. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, especially in Miami. Because it's mostly like, man, y'all Miami motherfuckers got to admit, bro. All, y'all let them Cubans take oh, over y'all over. trap and run y'all trap, and now they white people. So. Yeah, they, they Kirk Cousins, your shit. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you was hating on Kirk Cousins. That was fire. He embracing the culture. I respect it. No, you don't. This that, is why you lying. You don't I respect, respect it. it. You I do. don't respect I it. I do. It was cool the first time he said it, but, you know, when they was doing the press run of it, it was like, all right, come you ain't, on. You ain't like when he was on the plane, he had on all them chains on? That wasn't fire? This the same. All right, so he's doing it. He's doing it because he got players, you know what I'm saying, that he fucking with, right? And then his peers outside of the team yeah. are probably looking at that and saying that's exactly why we don't fuck with black people. Okay, who gives a fuck what they think? Hey, that's real. Nah, I respect that. I just, you know, it's it's like that, you know. I always look at shit like that as when you get the 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 the, the barbecue pass type shit. Mm. That's your your opportunity to cosplay shit. It's oh. a dude online that do that Omega shit or whatever. And um, anytime that people come on, he's talking like he's black. And um, <coughs> you're talking about, you're talking about, it's a white person? <coughs> yeah. yeah. And um, he always, you know, tries to make it out like, you know, hey, this just the way I, <coughs> this the way I am and da 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 da. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he throwing his hands around in, in imitating fashion. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I got you, bro. Yeah, he, he like that. He like that one white dude. What's the dude? The, the streamer dude. Weird, weird ass streamer. You ever went to Omega? No. Uh, Omega seems like a very weird site. And when <laughs> I first heard about Omega, I heard people was flipping their camera, and it was a lot of freaky deaky shit going on. That oh, I oh yeah, they about to get Omega out here because it was like a bunch of like underage shit, like underage girls on that bit doing yeah. like whatever. Yeah, I, I ain't. I, I don't even see. Now, what you call it, used to do some live streams on Omega. That was, used to be pretty cool until one day, he probably don't want to be uh, breaking it up. He felt bad, but I was like, hey, man, you did that. You did what you did, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> did this nigga just did this? <laughs> Eric, Eric used to be on there, and he was, and he, I think he was like, ask people questions, like how they doing and whatnot and different yeah. shit. So there was one girl on there, and she sounded like real suicidal and sad. Oh. And he was like, 
I forgot what happened. I think he like asked the chat. He was like, "Should I tell her that she's on on the on the stream?" And everybody was like, "Nah, bro, don't tell her she's on the stream, bro, because she kind of like feeling bad." And he was like, "Oh well, and he you know Eric don't listen, so yeah. he told her anyway." He was like, "Oh yeah, you're on stream and whatnot. I got you on my uh, IG live." And the girl was like, she was suicidal and whatnot. Yeah. She was like, "Oh my God, you got me on stream." Oh, I can't believe it. And then she like clicked away. And he was like, oh my God, I feel bad. And we were like, we told your dumb ass how to tell the girl. It, yeah. We were like, be like, be gentle with her. And he said, oh man, I feel bad. I was like, well, nigga, you ain't listen, bro. But he got some classic ones on there. He got yeah. one where like it was some little ass girls, bro. They had to be like, hey man, y- y'all need to start fuck, 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 uh, fuck with that that uh soft parody. Y'all need to start beating y'all kids' asses. <laughs> it was some funny. kids on there, bro. They were like five years old on Omega. Nah, I'm like, bro, crazy. where your parents at, bro? That's crazy. And they were like cussing Eric out. He had the bonnet on and whatnot. They yeah. were calling him up. I think they might have called him the F word. I, mean, I, <laughs> I can't remember exactly. Oh, but you, 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 you wanted them. Yeah, <laughs> if they didn't, they should have. But uh, <laughs> it was crazy, man. But yeah, Omega, I think they had shut it down, but it's like back. But yeah, it's some, it'd be some like, I'd be watching... Uh, it was one YouTube where like they do like compilations and shit, and yeah. it was it was like one where it's like a transgender woman. She was like, "I'm transgender," and the bread them niggas don't be caring, bro. They yeah, be, they, they don't be, care. They be at ready all. to go. They don't care at all. She told she was like, "I'm transgender." Bro said, "What that mean?" Oh, like. <laughs> It mean you about to get us a prize, nigga. Oh yeah, I seen. I think I think I seen the one you talking about where that nigga just ain't want to accept. That she was a nigga. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I I I ain't mean to say it like that. Only reason I said it like that is because like at the end she was like, hey, like she dropped the voice and was like, I'm a nigga. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. Chill out. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Hey, man, clip this out, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how niggas set you up? Yeah, uh, I ain't set. I ain't say bruh, nothing, nigga. Bruh. She. Oh my she said god, it, bruh. Bruh. She said it. She said what? She said. She said. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm yeah. blind. Yeah. She's brother. She must be high. Yeah. I got no way to prove it, so maybe I'm lying. You wanna hate continue, you, nigga? I'm only human. Charlie said that she was a nigga. All right, bro. Was, I'm just saying. This episode over, bro. I'm just saying, bro. She said it in the video. Bro. Yeah, actually, I know what you're talking about. She did say it. She said it. <laughs> she, she said it, man. <laughs> Hey man, they be problematic for you. You ain't got to right. like, be problematic. I, I wasn't trying to be golly. <laughs> yeah, the young lady said she a man. I was like, all right, well, yeah. I thought that's what I thought y'all didn't want. I, never mind, man. Y'all got it, bro. But I think in her defense, at some point she did have to let that ignorant nigga know. Like, <clears throat> yeah, she she used that. She used the, the OG voice, bro. She used that. Don't come on my block voice. She was like. She was like, I'm trans. I'm trans. He was like, he was I like, got a dick and balls. Like, he was like, I don't care. He was like, I don't, I don't care what that means. She, she was like, I'm trans. I'm a nigga. Yeah. I'm a nigga, bro. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she said, I got something between my legs, nigga. Yeah. Then she pulled out the uh, them hormones with the, yes, with the syringe. Bro. I was like, bro. all right. Bro. Oh right, man, cancel Christmas on Omega, man. Bruh. <laughs> that shit was crazy. And when she pulled that out, bruh, bruh still ain't care. I ain't expect the voice at all, bruh. That, that like <coughs> Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, bruh. She switched. She went back to that OG voice. She sounded like I twenty from disturbing the peace. She did actually. She like, Move, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, here go my hormones right here. I was like, all right, bro. I was like, bro, get. I was like, bro, what is this? I was like, bro, get this nigga off here. And if, like, he was like one of the homies, even if that was like, this made crazy. No matter what he attracted to, if that's one of the homies, I'm cutting you off. Cause like, bro, why are you that thirsty on the internet? That, I ain't yeah. hanging out with no nigga that's thirsty. That was like crazy. That. Yeah. I was like, bro, why you like? Even, like your face will be. On the internet like this for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's like a woman saying, 
I killed eight niggas, not comparing the, the two situations, but like any kind of thing that you're not attracted to. And she's saying it, you're like, I don't care. I'm just trying to beat. Yeah. Hey, man. Y'all be careful out here, man. These niggas crazy. Mm. Hey, bro. This water good as fuck, man. This nigga talking like he got that Bobby Boucher. Yeah, I'm about to say, bro. This is this thing. Yeah, that, you ain't got that water, boy. Bro, this is that. It's crazy because this, 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 this is that Dollar Tree water. This shit fire, bro. Dude. I ain't gonna hold you. Dollar General got some fire ass apple juice. Like you talking about the mock shit or you? No, oh, you, no, you no, about. not the mock shit. The um, the the Clover Valley. That's what. Yeah, it is. yeah, I know you talking about. Boy, that apple juice so good. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I be going out my way to go to Dollar General sometimes. Like, I need oh. that apple, nigga. <laughs> that's crazy. That, crazy. that wasn't that wasn't okay. a pause word. I don't know. I do be getting a because I like lemonade. I like lemonade. So I, um, I get the lemonade, bro. But that lemonade, bro. I was trying to sound like a little baby son. Uh, that lemonade, bro. That should be having your piss golden. That's crazy. That you shit. gotta stop drinking that. <laughs> that shit got a pound. Oh, that shit got like eight pounds of sugar in it, dog. One sip, your head be hurting, bro. That shit, and you piss, your piss gonna be golden. I was like, bro, I don't think my piss supposed to be brown from drinking lemonade. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro, that shit. Yeah, that's that shit. Be that you shit. Gotta fuck your kid. Some water in, bro. Come you on, bro. Some water dilute, in yeah, bro. diluted lemonade is crazy. <laughs> I don't even like lemonade, bro. I drank some earlier, and that shit had my stomach all fucked up. You don't like lemonade? Nah. What kind of niggas don't like lemonade, bro? That shit too bitter, bro. Where did you that get shit. it from? Any lemonade, nigga. I done tried them all. You don't like the Wendy's lemonade? I don't like no lemonade. <laughs> lemonade ain't good to me. I mean, it's it's if I if it's the only thing I drink it type shit. But lemonade's not a drink that I find Man, it's like, where is God in this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, just, nigga, what's wrong with you, bro? Man, where the green ass <laughs> nigga, <laughs> You don't like lemonade? Mm -mm. You don't like none of the real nigga shit, bro. You don't like lemonade? I like sweet tea, bro. That's the realest nigga shit. <laughs> Nah, I don't fuck with sweet tea. Nah. See, see, I, see. I, how and, you, and you I, from the South, nigga? <coughs> how can you even say that? I respect that as one of my flaws, though. It, you, it, you, That's every, a big one. It's nothing you do. That's that like you, saying you don't fuck with fried chicken. But I res if if I didn't respect fried chicken, I would respect that as one of my flaws. It's something that you don't like, and you be like, man, I understand. This is one of my flaws. I mean, I feel like I'm doing that by owning up to my shit. <laughs> but you standing on business on it. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like sweet tea. I just tried all the sweet teas, and I ain't all oh, like, bro, this shit just not good. Ain't no way you had public sweet tea and I've said had, this shit ain't good. I've had all, I've had it all. Only sweet tea I like, and it's not even sweet tea. That brisk tea, that's not. Oh, even, that shit is disgusting. That's not even sweet tea. That's like some other shit. <sighs> the what's call? I like the Arizona teas. That's not like tea for real. That's like some. That's like yeah. That's like the <coughs> pause, but it's yeah, like a tea bag type shit. That's not the same. No, like the southern tea is the tea bag shit. I mean, nah, like I'm saying it in the sense like it's almost like adding a flavor to it. Like, like, a, like it's, it's uh, like fake tea. Yeah. Adding something. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's like, like the, the real one. Like if you go to McDonald's and you get the McDonald's tea, that's like one with a tea bag. That's like the OG tea. No, 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 no. See, 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 see. I feel like Arizona shit be paused tea bags, right? But they not putting as much sugar in their shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They not sweetening it up Cause you gotta think bro Arizona <coughs> drinks do be good But it always tastes like it's missing something See man, see, man We gotta stop drinking them Arizonas man Definitely. Cause I know we so used to getting the ones in the can But I don't know if you ever drink the ones in a bottle Sometimes There's a couple of times I done drunk one from a bottle And you look at the bottom of the bottle and that color just be stuck mm -hmm. to the bottom. I right? like. I don't think niggas should be drinking this. Yeah, you shouldn't, bro. You should, I was like, bro. I was like, nah, bro. This ain't this ain't it right here. Now I will drink a uh, a half and half. I know some people call them Arnold Palmer. It's yeah. Arnold Palmer is y'all fuck up. Arnold Palmer is uh, unsweet uh, tea and lemonade. A half and half is sweet tea and lemonade. 
it's it's a it's a different. But yeah, I fuck with a half and half. Yeah, I would nah. drink that, but it got had a lemonade in it. It got to get freaky with the lemonade. Yeah, nah, don't disrupt my tea yeah, with, I, a, with a lemonade. I like bi- or a lemon for that matter. I like biracial tea. You want a lemon on your rim? Fuck no. <sighs> but man, get that shit out of here. <laughs> All right, so you don't like nigga Chick Fil A lemonade? Some of the best lemonade in the world. That shit got crack in it. Okay. That Publix lemonade got crack in it. No, that Publix sweet tea, nigga. Them Publix chicken wings, them Publix subs, nigga. Crack. I don't know when they put it in, how long that shit marinate in the tea or what. But nigga, crack cocaine. But you don't eat potato salad, also. That Publix potato yeah, salad got I crack in it. Potato salad. Potato salad ain't bad. It's just not my goat. Like that's not my team. Let me let me bad. guess you. Let me guess you watch Rocket Power. Yeah, I you remember the episode when they put the sand in the potato salad? Oh yeah, I do remember. <laughs> that shit, <laughs> that shit remember. scarred this nigga. Nah, <laughs> nah, it's alright. It's just you know, it's not all that to me. Mm. It's not all that. Cause I know I got scarred. Niggas be putting eggs in that shit, so. Yeah, you do got to put a little egg in it, bro. You got to put a little mayonnaise in it. Uh-huh. Yeah, that shit good, bro. I fuck with that, man. Go to Publix. It's crazy, fuck. though. I love mayonnaise. Yeah, I fuck with mayonnaise, too. I yeah. love mayonnaise. Yeah, I do, too. Put that shit on, like, bro, you put that shit on almost any sandwich. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, man, yeah, mayonnaise is, yeah, mayonnaise is a must. But the Publix up, let me ask you, how you get your Publix up? I'll see if you a real nigga or not. Depend, man. You get the chicken get the tenders, chi- right? Yeah, I either get the chicken tenders or I, I get it? them to... Bro, what? You got to. I'm just making sure. Because some Damn. niggas, they just get the tenders toasted. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Toast all of that shit. But you ain't get no cheese on it, though. Nah, I ain't get no cheese on it. Slap <laughs> me some spinach on that thing. You know what I'm saying? Give me some green oh. peppers. Give me some banana peppers. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. When uh, you get the spinach, do you get the spinach toasted, too? Yeah. This nigga disgusting, man. Sometimes. This nigga Popeye, bro. Sometimes. When they cook that, when I mean, when they put that spinach like in that. They only toasted. put it in there for like 10 seconds, so. <coughs> nah, that baby cooked, bro. Bro, nah, the, the edges be burnt, bro. The edges. And I tell them put my, uh, I, nah, see, I, when I get the Publix sub, I don't, I like tomatoes in my sub. Yeah. But, but when I go to Publix, I be like, don't give me no tomatoes because they like to chop them motherfuckers up and they just like lay them at the top mm-hmm. and you just got a little tomatoes laying. Oh, I don't, yeah. I like the, the tomatoes inside to be, the yeah, sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, they just, lie, they just lay, lie, layer them bitches on the top. I be like, I'm good on that, You bro. You actually got to tell them how like to organize your sandwich. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't I've, really fuck with shredded lettuce like that on none of my sandwiches, so I, I shy away. I always go for spinach leaves. Yeah, spinach, yeah, spinach yeah. is better and it's more healthier yeah yeah but um nah but see when i go to Publix, i have i'm stopped fucking with that Publix up here because i usually do the uh do the app so i'm a, i'm used to going to the one on den avenue mm-hmm. so you put that shit in the app your sandwich be waiting on you yeah but that one up up the street on riverside you put that bit on the app that sandwich don't ever be up there <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, that's actually true that's actually true i, I don't know like, what they they, they they on some we make it when we see you i was like bro where the fuck my sandwich at mm-hmm. they like, oh, we ain't getting the order and i like bro the shit right here dog. it's gonna be a nigga listening like i ain't too far bro <laughs> <laughs> i think it's somebody stealing nigga sandwiches man it, it might be bro it might be some james winston ass nigga just stealing your sandwiches that's real though <laughs> nigga Cause they just put that shit right to they just put the shit there and you just take it and you leave. But that now that might be what Jameis Winston did. That nigga Jameson, Jameis Winston did an online order. And they fucked that nigga over. No, I, he ain't had no receipt though. See, he he his phone probably died. Mm, benefit, benefit of the doubt. I'm with you. <laughs> we living in denial. That nigga just went up. That nigga went up there, bro. And that nigga was like, man, I want some crab legs. He was like, bro, I put it on the app. That nigga probably was like, hey, I'm Jameis Winston. I can have these. And it was a nigga that was holding a tray of chicken that was walking to the back. Like, yeah, one second, I'll be right with you. Yeah. But Jameis Winston heard, yeah, them five, I fuck with FSU yeah. and I ride with you. That might be what happened. That nigga. Like I fuck with you five, and then they get to took that bit. 
Come on, bro. If you see Jameis Winston, bro, like let that that nigga that nigga won a national championship, bro. Let that nigga get whatever he want, bro. Nah, bro. Except your bitch. Mm. Mm. Allegedly, he was never mind. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put that spot on that nigga name. Mm. I mean, allegedly, he was wilding in FSU, but like, yeah, nigga won your nigga won your college team at, uh, national championship, bro. Whatever the fuck that nigga want. What that nigga Funk Flex said? Put your hands in the register. Cause it's yours or whatever yeah, that nigga yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro, look, that nigga. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure Tebow ain't have to pay for no subs. Or no crab legs. Tebow probably <coughs> wasn't eating none of that shit. And you gotta think about it. That nigga Tebow was out and he was out in Gainesville. He was on that Seek Almighty shit. He wasn't fuck. He wasn't taking nobody bitches. Yeah. So I right. let that nigga at least get some food. Right. Like, bro, your you bitch is safe. Yeah. That nigga ain't gonna bother your girl. At least let that nigga get some free food. <laughs> Or something. Yeah. But you got to think, bro. I don't know. They tr- they probably treat them niggas like guys down there for real. So. Or In Gainesville. Oh, not you no more. You know, that more. shit ain't nothing like, but well, yeah, not now at all. <laughs> mm, ain't no reason yeah. to. Them niggas so sorry, boy. <laughs> niggas be like, matter, matter of fact, nigga, you pay double. If that nigga, um, what's that nigga name? I just, I, something with an L. Ash Lang McGee. or something. Um. Didn't go down in the, uh, in the last game. We would have won against Georgia. Oh, I ain't watch that bullshit. Yeah, we would have beat Georgia. Bro got injured. Cracker came in, <laughs> stunk it up. You talking about your QB? <coughs> what that bit went down to the wire? Nah, we, we in the third. I want to say we was only down at the first half. Them niggas was spanking us. Mm. In the third, we had us down like seven points, I want to say. Damn. Yeah. College football, one of them sports where, like, nigga, you could be down 21 in the fourth quarter. You still in the game. Yeah, 100%. 100%. A lot of these college college, uh, defenses be ass. It don't really take much to get you back in the game. And then not even just that. Niggas be sleep on the play and shit like that. They can run a lot more creative schemes than what you see in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? So... I feel like it'd be, it be trickery a lot of times that definitely um, add into it because you see some some creative plays in college football. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, uh, real quick, I just want to say to the Jaguars, fuck you. <laughs> I'm hurt. <coughs> I hate I hate, I hate hate being on other team highlight reels <laughs> for hey, bad, bad press. And hey man, shout out my my namesake Sha- Saquon Barkley. Bruh. But I, I will say this, man. I'm, I'm gonna join Joe on this, man. Fuck the Jaguar, bro. Niggas should not be doing a three ninjas Bruh. kick back moves on that us. nigga. Hit a spin, nasty. Ugh. I thought that was the highlight, right? I yeah. thought the nigga was finna break and shake, yeah. right? Nigga turned around, decided after the spin move, he decided. To turn around <laughs> Think about that In the middle of the play Nigga said wait Put my back to you <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said I don't even respect you I'm putting my back to you And I'm gonna jump <laughs> <laughs> Alright bro Nigga di- Bruh Jump six feet in the air This nigga jumped six feet in the air And made that nigga look like a fool I say bro What the fuck Nigga, I was looking at that shit, bro. I was like, bro, that's some shit Jet Li did in, in Cradle to the Grave, bro. That's some what? Jackie Chan shit for real. Bro, you remember on um, Romeo Must Die when Jet Li was playing football with them niggas? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> he uh-huh. Was, and he was beating their ass bro, playing nigga, football. That nigga Jet was going Lee, crazy. Jet Li definitely did the moves. That nigga had 14 uh, receptions. 135 yards. <laughs> uh, 500 ass whooping. <laughs> right. Hey, man. that And you know what's crazy, man? So, Romeo must die in that in that scene. It was like, you were kind of rooting for Jet Li, but then you got to think about it, bro. He was beating up niggas. Bro, he, he was beating up every nigga. He was beating up black people. It was it almost was, racist. It was like, all right, bro. It's kind of racist, bro. Like, you beating up all the black dudes, and you get to take the black woman from them. All mm-hmm. right, bro. I kind of... Like, what I ain't is fucking this, with this movie. <laughs> I like, bro, it's kind of racist, man. Who if else? DMX went wild, you know what I'm saying? It'd it be rooting for the uh, underdog. Yeah, man. The, the evil nigga, rather. Bro, this, yeah, that, uh, 
He was looking like the Jaguars about to come back for a second. Bro, I thought so. <coughs> I thought so. Hey, shout out that boy tricking off Trev. He fucked that. He fucked the game up, man. I don't know who what was worse. Trevor Lawrence, one of them people, it's like we we done seen the nigga play. Well, we see the white man play four four seasons. And I still don't know if he ass or not. Like I don't know if he, is he good or is he ass. Or he just I don't like, feel okay. like I don't feel like he's ass, and I don't feel like it's one of those things to where he's just okay. I feel like he's good enough to be in to be an NFL quarterback. We've seen way worse quarterbacks. Yeah, it just look he just like got bad luck. I definitely think it's bad luck, and then I also <coughs> think it's a moment of desperation that he feels every game to where yeah. it's like. I have to turn this around somehow. He ends up forcing things, and that's when we see those interceptions. <clears throat> All right, so I brought that up because that last play, he threw that interception, but, nigga, the wide receiver didn't do anything. True well, it, was a, it was a True running indeed. back. He True didn't indeed. do anything to try and catch that shit. That nigga, that nigga jumping up like this, bro. That nigga looking like, what, bro? Where, where, where's the ball going? No yeah. neck J. Yeah, yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> ah. That's funny. Like, nigga, put your hands up and try to catch the ball at least. Do Even if yeah. you can't catch it, try and stop the defender from catching it. Nigga right. just like, nigga just jumped up in the air like a dolphin, bro. Like, nigga, put your hands in the air or something like that. Tip If you can't catch it, tip the ball out the way. Yeah. Um. um I don't know what to say, man. At this point, you know, it's hard to watch football. Oh, season over, bro. At this point, bro. All bro, the, college yeah. and NFL. Football <coughs> don't exist. I waited all last year for this. All summer, rather. <laughs> hey, man, it's getting, it's getting worse. I don't know. The trade deadline was today. And niggas, put, niggas sent all the fire players to Detroit and the damn Chiefs. Like, bro, what's going on, bro? The season over for the Jags. At this point, man, just bring us Travis Hunter. Like, lose all the games. Just bring us Travis Hunter for the next season, man. We good. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, bro, it feel like we always rebuilding every two years. You know what I'm saying? Especially since Jalen Ramsey, them. After that shit there, mm. after they decided not to pay that nigga, I feel like we've been cursed. Yeah, man. Y'all should have paid that zesty nigga. Matter of fact, man, next week, man, we haven't talked to Jalen Ramsey in a while. We're gonna call Jalen Ramsey and see mm. what he's doing, man. We'll get a good we'll get a good update on that, man. It's been rumors of him coming back to end his career here. Pff, nigga, that nigga done, bro. <laughs> Ever since they, they repoed his paint Camaro. Damn. And yeah, so he was here, they didn't pay him, they repoed the paint Camaro. But he went out to LA, he got a paint Corvette. And I heard he out of Miami, I heard he got a paint cyber truck. Damn, he bossing up. Yeah, he bossing up on niggas, though. That's crazy. It's like, bro, once you get the pink cyber truck, like, what, what else you What can to? niggas say to you? Yeah, well, like, what nigga, can, it's, oh, who it, fucking with you? You know yeah, what I'm man. saying? It's like, he might as well. Now, Jalen Ramsey, if you watch it, man, we're going to try and find that. We're going to try and get you a pink tank. A pink tank. That's crazy. Master P might have something to say <laughs> about that. <laughs> we're going to get you a pink tank. We gonna. I don't know where we're gonna drive it at, man. We Master gonna, P, the only nigga I know had a tank. Man, that nigga. All right, bro. That nigga. Master that, P that had was, a tank, bro. That wasn't Master P tank, bro. Master I'm P hating, had a bro. Tank, bro. I'm hating, bro. He he got that Master from somebody. Master P had a tank, bro. Exactly, bro. You talking about a make him say own video? Uh huh. He got a. He 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 got that bit off Craigslist. Only thing he owned in that make him say mm mm video was the gorilla suit. No. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's the only thing he owned. He owned them chains and that gorilla suit. Bro, that nigga owned the gymnasium, bro. That wasn't a gym. That was a. That wasn't. I saw. You got me sound like a hater, man. Because <laughs> I was sounding like a hater on Saturday. Because niggas was like, because uh, during the Wayne performance, Master P came out. They give Wayne the key to the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And niggas was like, man, Master P need to perform three songs. I like mm, Yeah Why would Master P Perform three like, songs stop. He had nothing to do With the hot push Like stop it bro Like Carl let's calm down A little bit Let's bring it down He don't need to be Performing no songs Right now <laughs> yeah. This is Lil Wayne's moment Yeah Master P retired He got it out Keys to the city And shit yeah. like that Yeah We don't need to see that bro I mean yeah He bossed up in that regard <clears throat> Yeah man we don't, we don't need to see This nigga perform bro Let's see for him to not be the greatest musician, 
He made a lot of shit A lot of shit happen. Yeah yeah Now if you want to let Silk the Shocker perform Then yeah Go ahead. The, Whoa that's crazy What's wrong with that Why, why would Silk the Shocker Get the pass over Master P I needed a laugh that night Nah, right, <laughs> I just needed that's something crazy. to laugh. I did. I needed a nigga to laugh at the moment. You couldn't laugh at them fits Wayne was wearing. You talking about them them uh, them Bro. burlap sacks? Yeah, that nigga was wearing some bullshit. <laughs> I guess we about to get into that, man. Uh, them boys, them boys had uh, them boys reunited, man. Yeah, hot boys. Never thought it'd be possible. Oh, yeah, you was on here saying it was never going to happen. Was it? Yeah, you definitely was. But that was just your hater spirit. Man. But, I mean, I'm talking about the tour. I ain't say this wouldn't happen, <coughs> oh, but yeah, a yeah. tour wouldn't happen. I can't see a tour happening. Oh, oh, okay. I don't, I don't if them know. Them niggas legit had to be on some we travel together for this long type shit. Uh -huh. I don't know that I could see it. But, but... Everybody's in a new space. You know what I mean? All them niggas on stage there are completely different people than what we grew up listening to. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I definitely think that um, only thing, I could be wrong. Only thing that would stop that tour is them splits. That money split. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turk, Turk gonna take whatever. whatever. It, Turk gonna take whatever. That nigga take a it. peanut butter jelly sandwich. All right, bro. You trying, I'm Turk. I, I'm going to call Turk right now. He gonna, I'm sorry. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga is shit on me, bro. I'm sorry. All right, Turk. He going to... Uh, and I'm not I'm not helping by saying anything or whatever, but he going to take... <laughs> he going to take what he what he worth. Yeah, yeah. Nah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> and I mean, he understand that. He know niggas ain't heard Turk in over 20 years. You know what I'm saying? So... All right, BG. That nigga just did about 13 years of prison. He happy to be there. I ain't going to say he going to take whatever, but he going to understand. Yeah. Dub dub, all right. It's gonna Juvie. I feel like Juvie will do it on the love. I feel like Juvie the one, though he came in last. Juvie was they missing piece, and he know that. You don't think you don't think when it's time to split that bread, when Juvie see that see what Wayne getting, anything you gonna say a little something like I don't nah, think he I don't nah, think he nah, tripped man, give because me a more. they like just off the strength that Wayne was being considered. At least socially for the Super Bowl type shit. Just the fact that Wayne brought all of that shit together, made all of that possible for every one of them niggas. Juvenile on a high right now, but he ain't gonna get it fucked up. You know what I mean? Mm. He know that he know that uh Wayne the bigger bread went in that situation. All right, you're right. Yeah, he got the key to the city. So you said it's not gonna happen, so what's gonna stop it? I don't know. I'm saying I'm saying I could see them all being a little more um, copacetic, you know, today, <laughs> per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I say, you got to think, 30 days even, just think 30 days in whatever capacity you having to wake up and see the same nigga do the same shit, more or less. Oh, they're going to have four separate tour buses. Yeah, they're going to have to. Well, it's going to be three tour buses and a... Um, a Expedition for Turk. <laughs> That's funny. Um, because again, even if they did do that, going to the hotel and all of that shit, you start seeing shit online. Niggas start bringing up old interviews and shit like that. Become conversation in the in the daytime. And well, I think whatever them niggas had, like obviously for because BG was acting like he was gonna slap the fuck out of Turk. So whatever they had, like. Between themselves Has been resolved Yeah I think everything It had to be Have been resolved bro Like them niggas Like they go to video Them niggas doing a rehearsal Them niggas I first of all I ain't man, seen this I ain't gonna slander Y'all know I love Wayne bro I ain't no bro rehearse Them niggas have fun Them niggas are not Rehearsing. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga Wayne's going. Ah, ah. That nigga BG ain't saying nothing. Man, what's up with Manny Fresh Hair, bro? That nigga. Hey, bro. That nigga got them. Uh, what they call him? Uh, the Bantu. <laughs> Bantu. Nigga, I remember one time it was. That nigga be like, 
I got the bomb, ba 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 two nuts. They gonna grow if they wo 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 two a nut. Green ass nigga. Green ass nigga. Green ass nigga. Stop that shit, shit right now, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I remember one time it was a, it was in high school, bro, and I was growing I was growing my hair out. Oh yeah, the ba The ba 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 ba. Green ass nigga. I ain't gonna hit it again, bro. We done had the quota. Just just please just stop being green. <laughs> I'm begging you, just stop being green, bro. I can't stop all stop. Nigga said I can't stop being green, bro. I can't help it. It's in my bones uh, to be it's green. It's in my blood. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I wanted to grow my hair out. So uh-huh. my mom was like she could, she was like, she couldn't braid my hair because my mom not African or Jamaican, so she can't grip it. You gotta be African to grip little ass mm-hmm, hair. Mm-hmm. So she was like, I could give you uh, some twist in your head. I was like, bet. So it's like the Sunday before school, nigga, and she put them bontus in my head like yeah. that, like the Manny Fresh. Oh yeah, you had them. Okay. Uh huh. Ain't no uh huh, nigga. <laughs> they ain't no uh huh, nigga. <laughs> She was like, oh, she spent like a she spent like a good time doing them motherfuckers. Right. And I looked, I was like, bro, I look like Lady of Rage, nigga. <laughs> I'm looking at a mirror, I was like, bro, I'm not going to school like this. Like they're gonna tear me up, bro. Yes. They would have All the way to school, I took the motherfuckers out. I think I wore like a hoodie or something. That's it crazy. was like ninety three degrees. I got a hoodie on, bro. I'm on a bus taking them motherfuckers out. She was like, well, she got home. She was like, well, what happened to your ear? I was like, one of them came out, so I took them all up. I was like, the rubber band pop. <laughs> Damn, man. I was like, bro, I'm not going to. I think I look crazy, bro. You walking around looking like a pinhead. <laughs> <clears throat> nigga, I was looking like Macy Gray, nigga. Oh, I'm my not, God. I'm not wearing Bantu knots, bro. I look like Manny Fresh with this hair, bro. Hey, man. Bro, that Manny. nigga trying to be a young nigga, bro. He a YN. <laughs> nigga, he a Owen, nigga. <laughs> Owen. <laughs> Old nigga, bro. Take that shit out your hair or get straight backs or get locks or something, nigga. Back of that kitchen crazy, boy. <laughs> like, yeah, they can't even grip the back of that motherfucker. You can tell he just had got the fade done. So no, it ain't no, no, even no. like. I don't know what he got done. He must have cut that shit himself, boy. That that line crazy. All right, bro. You get you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You, I gotta be a little critical there. You over whooping it, bro. You like he just got the fade done. Like they kind of like stop. <laughs> nigga says he 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 was sitting down getting the fade, and then UCBG had just tapped him. He was like, "Man, you gotta get up. This your part. You know what I mean? That's what happened. Nigga fell asleep, bro. That's what happened." You ever got one of your cuts almost fucked up? Huh? You ever got one of your cuts fucked up by something you did? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, not, yeah. I mean, it wasn't what I wanted when I woke up. <coughs> oh. I oh. think I sent that shit in the group chat one time. Nigga had black ice everywhere, bro. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I know Banks had that picture. I'm mad I couldn't find that picture when he. The oh, poster. yeah, nah, that, he was wildin'. <laughs> I couldn't find that, but yeah, that nigga, Banks had like eight inches of black ice in his head. <laughs> Now nah, I remember one time my barber, see, <laughs> that nigga got high one time, <laughs> which I don't like getting cuts while niggas is high. I'm like, bro, be sober when you give me my cut. But the nigga got high. But I like, I, I respect, bro, Clipper game or whatever, bro. I don't care. So, bro, we watching Joe Dirt two, not Joe Dirt one. I don't nah. even think. I don't even think think niggas knew what Joe Dirt two yeah. came out. I heard about it. I was like, I ain't watching that shit. Bro, so we in the crib. I think I got like a contact high. That nigga was just smoking so much. My brother was there too. <laughs> so my brother got his cut already. So luckily, my I hate my brother because he got the sober cut. Yeah, yeah. I got the I got the cut when the weed done kicked in. Yeah. So the nigga cut my hair and shit. He he keeps he doing straight. I didn't I didn't help it at all, bro. So we watching Joe Dirt, bro. So I forgot what happened on Joe Dirt. But nigga, we both start busting out laughing, and then nigga nicked my shit in the back, bro. But he fixed it. But bro, we was in that. I ain't care, bro. We was in that bit dying laughing yeah, watching yeah. Joe Dirt too. That's funny. Oh my bro, that nigga. I don't know what you could have been laughing at, cause. <laughs> 
It might it might have been the only funny scene. Is I it, bet if I go back and watch it, I don't laugh at all. Yeah, it was like one of the moments where like you know you you've been watching something with somebody and it'd be funnier with that homie yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, for sure, for like sure. Somebody hit a <laughs> yeah. You hear somebody snicker? Yeah, they just and start then they, busting yeah. out laughing. Yeah, it's yeah. like one of them things. Some shit definitely is funnier, you know, in in groups and in tandems type shit like. Um, and and even being more inclined to laugh even, but uh like going to a comedy show, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. What the fuck they got man, I don't know what they they coming for me and Joe, man. I think what what's the can we get an update on what's going on while we continue this on with the Trump and Kamala? Huh? Oh yeah, let me get that update going. Yeah, while uh, while I play this real quick, cause I think cause Wayne said they took that Super Bowl from him, man, so I'm gonna play this real quick. You know, all right, Trump got one and no one. Kamala got time, 71. Bowl, they yeah. look like Trump might win. I mean, nah, I ain't gonna say that. What? The season. Trump got one on one. I did the same when I moved to Miami, and I was wishing my team make it. And guess who made it that year? The motherfucking Saints. Now, Wayne, you a Green Bay Packers fan, but whatever. We'll keep we'll keep it rolling, bro. I was able to give my mama that sweet. She was able to bring my family and other people from New Orleans, and they had a fucking ball. That moment, I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. Mm. And I worked my ass off to get that fucking position, and it was ripped away from me. But this I don't feel like that's fair right to say. <laughs> they can't take that, man. They can't take that from me. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for yourself for being amazing. Nah. Only way I agree with Wayne's I don't know, bro. Is it did, he, Wayne gotta just let her know. It, was there somebody that told you you was gonna perform at the Super Bowl? And they told and they gave it to Kendrick. I don't feel like that was the case at all. Everybody that Well, we wouldn't know that though. True indeed. But I feel like everybody that's been involved has come out and said, No, that's yeah. not what happened. Yeah, cause the same people that came out there and gave him that key to the city is the ones that picked that Kendrick do the Super Bowl. Right. And like we said, now, on I here, do think that they did that because of you know, the uproar about things, I'll be honest. The uproar about what? About him not performing at the Super Bowl. You think they gave him the key to the city because of that? I think that played a huge part. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. It's like, I hear, I hear nigga damn, because it's not his first time doing a Louisiana festival. It's right. like maybe like the six one probably. Yeah. I don't know. I could, my numbers definitely could be off. But he done did a... Uh, uh, it's, he definitely deserved a key to the city because I feel like less people done got keys to the city. So yeah, yeah. yeah. They gave on um, Safari Sam the key to the city in Jacksonville. For real? <laughs> nah, I just made that. I, was gonna say, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think they. Bro. I don't think they give out the keys to the city of Jacksonville. Nah, I, don't, I ain't seen them. I don't even know who would even get the key to the city in Jacksonville. <laughs> if they was to give out the key to the city, man, the first person to get it is Tony Baselli, man. Nah, and, that's funny. And when Tony Baselli get the key to the city, I got bring back that Baselli burger, man. <laughs> <laughs> bring Tony Baselli, biggest fan here. Bring that bit back three weeks, bro. Tony Baselli, and then get a little. I guess get a little Duval key to the city, man. Little Duval definitely could deserve a key to the city. Yeah, little Duval and whoever invented the whoop. The damn. Damn. That's a great point. Yeah, them three niggas give. Ooh, ooh, get it, get it. Yeah, that shit get crazy. I was about to say, bro, whoever made the peanut butter. They jelly. got like whoop festivals, bro. <coughs> yeah, they do a whoop tournament, bro. Yeah. Yeah, during on uh, uh, the little Duval day, my For cousin real. won. Uh, my cousin won it two years in a row. For real? Yeah. I'm not even making this up, bro. I'm gonna go day. out there and kill his ass. All right, bro. I'm gonna. I I bring him up here. Like... I'll bring it. You want me to bring him up here? Yeah. You want to have a whoop up? What? He gonna eat you up, bro. Bruh, bring that nigga. He the most fire whooper in the city, bro. Bro, cause Lil Duval said it. Nigga, it's like the nigga. He won like the whoop Super Bowl, bro. Bro, bro. He, it was on Moncrief. That's cause I ain't pull up, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
Now I'm finna go home and whoop it up. Let me pull up. Let me see if I can pull up my, my cousin game for footage, bro. He ate niggas up, bro. He won the whoop contest. Only reason he ain't winning it this year because he ain't go. Mm, that's the only reason. <coughs> yeah, he has something to do, bro. Bro, you know they want me to go to that Red Bull competition. Like, the who? The Red Bull shit. The Red Bull shit? Yeah, nigga. Bro, Red Bull be having the best dancers in the world compete. Or well, why you ain't do the pop lock shit at the, at the Olympics? <laughs> that shit was break dancing. You seen the the the, the chick that represented uh, Brazil is is, I think no, she represented us, didn't she? Uh, might be. I think. Uh, I think she did represent us, but um. What you call had interviewed her, Eric? Really? Yeah. She uh she supposedly giving away ten thousand dollars to anybody that can dance better than her. Niggas finna, bro. That's. Is, who won't judge it? Because I feel like if you be like, I'm going to give you $10,000 that dance better than me, and you dance better than me, I'm going to be like, oh, I won. I dance better than you. Like, I'm not going to give you the money. As a matter of fact, if you it's, look. If you you got to think, this great marketing. <coughs> like, now she'll have a surplus of money from doing just that and yeah. then be able to say. Because if you look like you about to beat me, bro, I'm about to have somebody, Nancy Kerrigan, hit your knee. Now you just throw a little salt on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a banana on the floor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Do you like Mario Kart, nigga? Mm-hmm. That's funny. What's the what, like? What's the stipulations to the dancing? I don't know. I, she just had like I, I ain't I ain't dig deep enough in. Song I should have, bro. Song you ain't do no research. I did. I seen that shit and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, is it hip hop dance? It was like I don't know. Uh, well, it's gotta be. It was a she did the break dancing competition. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I know who gonna beat beat her. Who? Uh, Duke Deuce Duke Deuce would kill her Duke Deuce would destroy her Bro, Duke Deuce is that nigga when it comes to dancing yeah, nigga. Them niggas out of Memphis, bro Might be the most talented dancers on earth What you call could, do, could dance a little bit too She'd be doing a little Memphis Duke uh, Glorilla She's mm-hmm. a little nice with it She do the same one, but like She's, she can't do, she's she, got her own Memphis Duke If that's nothing like she what don't do really the juke. She do the little shit where you move your eyes. She yeah, do that yeah. little, yeah. She do that. That that's not a Memphis. That's just some shit she do, bro. That's that they include that into <laughs> the juke. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. We might get a nigga. I'm out. telling you, it be like like hey, them hey. niggas got you know. Call that nigga Honcho so thorough or something <laughs> like that. Uh, that what you just did. That was like some. That was some special needs. Nah, bro. When you when you see niggas hit it right, yeah. Hey, yo. Yeah, pause. That was crazy. <laughs> that was insane. That, that shit. Was crazy. That nigga said when you see niggas hit finish. it. Right. Nah, bro. Finish. finish what you saying, bro. When you see niggas hit it right, what else? You just wanted to say yeah. that again. <laughs> see, you need to pause now. Nah, um, I'm, I'm repeating what you said. Man, bro. that should be fire though. Like I say, it's a nigga named Lil Buck. That nigga go crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a nigga named uh, Drum uh, or Dream, something like that. I think it's I spelled it, Drum. I ain't but, calling a nigga Dream. Yeah. Um, but that nigga go crazy. That's one of my favorite dancers to watch. <coughs> Just like y'all niggas calling Lil Baby Wham. Like, nigga, I'm already, it's already suspect I'm calling you Lil Baby. I'm not calling you Wham, too, nigga. Your, few, your music not fire enough for all them nicknames. If you make fire music, then, like, whatever nickname niggas tell you, then, all right, you got it, bro. But I'm not calling you fucking Wham, nigga. Wham is crazy. Nigga, tell me hey, something. Wham, what up? Wham, bam, thank you, man. Like, nigga, stop it, bro. I'm not calling you fucking <laughs> Wham, nigga. Like, leave that shit for Thug. Thug is in a position he can do shit like that. Yeah, man. You're not. <laughs> hey, man, I'm sorry, bro. Thug, nickname, sex, I think that's a fire nickname. Don't look at me like that, bro. You trying to call that nigga sex? <laughs> that's weird when you say that, bro. When you say it like that, that's bro. You just told me that nigga nickname is fire, bro. You can't, <laughs> you can't wait to say it. Yeah, bro. The nigga nickname is sex, bro. You, you on that Diddy shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what that nigga King Yellow say? I'm just playing. I'm playing. That's crazy. What that. King Yellow said. You don't remember what that nigga came no. on, bro. You put it in your whatchamacallit. Hold on, that nigga King Yellow said some some wild shit about uh, Lil Dirt. 
And, and I'm a, I hold on. As soon as I find it, I'm gonna play that bit, bro. That nigga was tripping. You know, I be forgetting, man. Hold up, bro. This is this uh, right here. Dirk meat. No, man. Oh, we, yeah. we gonna we gonna ride dirt meat, oh, man. Yeah. We gonna ride today. We riding dirt <laughs> meat. Man. Call it what you want, man. Dirt meat is getting rolled right now, man. We gonna ride this shit to that to the meat fall off. No, no, no. What they say? <laughs> bro, that laugh was so sinister, bro. This nigga's a real. He 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 want to be locked up with dirt. <laughs> this nigga's a real. And that was that was that's King Yellow right there on that drop. That's crazy. I was like, nigga, were you talking about yourself, bro? That nigga said to the meat fall off. That's yeah. crazy. That's it. it like, how you got that much? Matter of fact, I think I put a la a late submission in for uh they need their ass beat. I ain't get it. You ain't get it. I'm gonna have to play that shit. What was it? You know them on the street interviews, the nigga standing there with his girl, mm -hmm. and he was asked if you had to save. All right, so if you and your girl, <coughs> if NBA young boy and your girl was both drowning, who you saving? Mm. That nigga said NBA young boy, fuck my bitch. To in front of his girl? Yes. That shit had to be fake. I don't know, bro. Bro, it's one, it's one of these, like, they need their ass beats that you got. And I was like, bro, no way this nigga Joe think this is real. This is like a real nigga to week. And I was like, bro, this nigga Joe got a, Joe got a media takeout brain. Like, Man, like, let me see. Show it to me, dog. No, no, we not doing real niggas of the week yet. I just wanted to see what it was. All right, to, bro. To we going to skip, skip around, bro. To see if you was telling the truth or not. Nah, bro. It's like, bro, no way in the world do you think this is real. It's a so it's a kids help Amazon package <laughs> from getting stolen. Before I play this, you think this is real? No way you think. Look at look at what the girl got on. Yeah, they, bro. I don't think that's a, a a deterrent. She just ain't wearing her fucking vest. That's a violation in itself. But, bro, she got on booty shorts and chancletas. Yeah. But you can do the Amazon with a, flex with a toe, shit. With a toes done. You can do the Amazon flex shit. What is that? When you drive it in your car? Yeah. All right, bro. I'm just saying. But it does. It's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. <coughs> Them kids took off. I don't, bro. This is why I'm telling you I don't fuck with the hood because. Carl, I'm going to break the bug back because that was just a lot of fun. Um. Hi, someone literally just sold your package like two minutes ago. Someone literally just sold your package. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind it and show you what she fucked up. Oh, sad. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Thank y'all. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, ain't no kids just doing that. One of them would have said, "Hey, you got a fat ass." Sorry, right, bro. What the <laughs> just fuck? Saying. Kids ignorant today, bro. Even though she got fat ass. Right. Somebody need to say it. All right. <laughs> Somebody got to let her know. <laughs> Somebody got to let her know she got a fat ass. All right. She on the phone. Uh -huh. Keep in mind she had the phone. She on the phone talking. Right. Look at her cell phone. Now, I understand the camera is pulled up. But you got to do it. Now, I can't see if we zoom in, but. I was trying to see right there. She was never on the phone. Look, when she took it off, she was never on the phone. Cause when you take, cause when you take the camera off, it's gonna go to it the, it's gonna go to the call thing. It goes straight to her home screen. Nah, it'll go to your, it'll go to your call log. I mean, it'll go to the lock screen um, if your phone lock. Someone literally just sold your package. Like it goes to the Westman. It, it, it goes to the. the it went yeah. straight to her home screen. She was not on the phone for real. Hey, shit. She should have. She should have recorded that. See, shit. I was just hoping that it them them jits was you know what I'm saying. Good upstanding beat a nigga ass because they stole something kind of yeah. jits. But I'm just saying, like, if you gonna do the skit, why don't you just pretend like you really on the phone? Actually, be yeah, on the phone on with somebody. Phone, yeah. Cause Kamala yeah. did some shit today where she was acting like she was on the phone with people. And they, she pulled the phone up and the, her fucking camera was there. Like, she wasn't on the phone. 
This nigga Jody shook his head, man. He didn't want to say what he want to say about Kamala, man. One day you gonna get your real feelings out about Kamala, man. Stop beating <laughs> around funny. the bush. But uh, let's do uh, uh what you call? Listen to questions. To send those in. Hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast dot com. That's mail at r a o podcast dot com. Boy. Is that you? Was Not that, me. I was about to say, bro. We might need to go over and see what they're doing over there, man. Yeah, nah. I definitely started to go and check the car. Uh, listen to questions. Oh, this one from uh, the boy. I almost said your real name. I want to get my name. Beat my ass. Psychosis. He said, yeah. do you guys think you ever, you'll ever go back to work in a regular job? And what is something you guys want to do to help the podcast even more? Shit, who knows? Time get hard. <laughs> who knows, honestly? Um, I be thinking about it sometimes. Yeah. Not recently, but I have thought about it a couple of times. I mean, you know, you go through those phases to where it's like what I'm doing is definitely getting me by, but, you yeah. know, I want more. I could be doing more, <coughs> you know, if yeah. I had more funds type shit. But um, it's also one of those things to where you want to build for yourself right um as far as the podcast goes i would say personally i think that um we're already working in the direction of like some of the things that we want to see down the road just expanding with more shows um dropping more merchandise you know what i mean things like that but um yeah i think i answered uh yeah as far as the job i'll be thinking about it here and there but uh i've i've been doing this shit damn near two years now and i'm surviving so i'm straight i ain't got no reason to i don't know yeah nigga sign up for the patreon so we ain't gotta go back to uh yeah sign, so, yeah, sign up to the patreon as mm-hmm. far as the podcast i don't know i just want to uh i feel i feel like yeah we got a lot quantity wise i want to like step up the quality wise of the show is more so yeah definitely um uh, uh, being more engaging with y'all, but we got a lot of shit on the Patreon and different stuff, so they're going to tap in. Matter of fact, hopefully, depending on, we're supposed to be doing a live stream afterwards, so we'll, we'll see, man. Depending on who win, if um, they might throw a monkey in the wrench, bro, that Kennedy might win. Ain't no damn. Jill Steen might win. Yeah, I was gonna say, ain't no damn Kennedy running. <laughs> nigga, I seen a nigga, they had posted their ballot and they put a. Uh, Joe Biden on that bitch. Oh, Robert said, Kennedy is running. <laughs> yeah, he's on. Yeah, he was on the ballot. Um, but he talking about something. He dick riding Trump. He said, "Vote for Trump if y'all want to see me in uh, uh, uh in, in Washington." Office. Yeah, that's, that's in Washington. Crazy. But all that nigga, you I mean, would, you know, I mean, all that nigga, you was on the ballot. <clears throat> but yeah, somebody had wrote Joe Biden name on the ballot, and they were like, "You ain't retiring, bitch." What? What? What is uh? That's that's funny. What is uh? <laughs> California, they Republican or Democrat? Uh, they usually Democrat. Okay, because I was gonna say they usually had the most um them in Texas type shit. Uh, Texas is usually a red state. Yeah, yeah, they. I mean, right now he tearing up the whole East Coast. Blood, blood, blood. Now nah, that West Coast was going the West Coast is what's going what's gonna have Kamala go over. Yeah, but we got wait on that man. But you already know the East Coast gonna be Trump, bro. We got mm-hmm. a lot of Southern states. We got some hick states, the mid, I don't know, bro, the Midwest, the mid, you Midwest niggas is low-key the South. Y'all niggas is, uh, we say it all the time, Chicago niggas is nothing but Mississippi niggas with coats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, so That's yeah, funny. go ahead, go ahead. Y'all niggas be trying to add Tom some on, on King Larry, bro. Y'all niggas Southern niggas on the low, man. So go ahead and stop it, man. So you, you 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 might get some flack for that. You better put some respect on the names. On what? The names. On King Larry? Yeah. I ain't disrespecting nigga. I, just I say don't on, think they say on King Larry. On Larry on, on King David. On uh they say on Larry. Okay. All right, bro. <laughs> I was just saying. All right, man. Next question from um, Aaron. He said, rest in peace, uh, Q. He's talking about Quincy Jones. Mm-hmm. He said, what's y'all f- uh, five favorite productions from him? He said, mine are Can't Help It, Michael Jackson. You put a move on my heart, Tamil. That's a good one. I love mm-hmm. that song. 
Uh, Secret Garden. That's the song with uh, was that Barry White? I think. Uh, I think uh, what's we calling on there? Elder Barge and um, what bro that took uh, Diddy took bro took his son away from him. Oh boy, I thought you was about to say took something else. I was gonna say. Nah, Diddy, Diddy. took bro son. He might have took something else from him. We don't know, bro. Them tapes ain't come out. We'll find out when the tapes come out. Uh, the Lady in My Life, Michael Jackson. And Great song. Great, amazing song. Strawberry Letter 23 from uh, Brothers Johnson. Another great song. He had a, he had a solid list. <coughs> I'm going to go with... um. Uh, I'm going to go with George Benson. Give me the night. Just give me the night. Mm, yeah, that's yeah. an um, instrumentation went crazy. Quincy was in his... Bag with that one. Yeah, he went crazy. Matter of fact, Quincy did bro whole album. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish my list. But like, to, to be real, if a nigga wanted to, you could just pick. You could just pick any song off Bad, any song off Thriller, any song 100%. off the wall, and you just be good. You just yeah. pick five songs from there. Yeah, and that's like his best production. But I'm gonna finish my nah, list. Nah, because I was gonna say <laughs> some of his best production realistically are his scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His scores don't get talked about enough. And he had like full on jazz shit. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let me finish. Uh, I got Tevin, the song he had with Tevin Campbell, Tomorrow. Mm. That's like one of his best songs. Um, MJ, I want to be, st- I want to be starting something. Want to be starting something? That might be, that might, that's, that was, my, that was, that's my favorite MJ song. Really? Yeah. He's like, nigga said, uh, what kill you say? You're a vegetable. Yeah. Eat him off your plate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go want to be starting something. Mm-hmm. I'm going uh, to steal this one from Aaron. I can't help. I can't help it. That's mm-hmm. just one of the best Michael Jackson songs. Yeah. And I'm going to go Brother Johnson. I'll uh, I'll be good to you. I'll be good to you. That's amazing. Good yeah. yeah. yeah go um, that. Summer in the City is a good one. Um, you know it's funny because they got uh, Frank Sinatra's um, what was that um, Come Fly With Me yeah Frank sang it right but you can hear like bruh imagine a nigga singing that Come Fly With Me in that time oh man that shit would have been too smooth that's a cracker song boy stop <laughs> but no, he did write that shit no, for Frank's voice. Like ain't no real that shit. Nigga, ain't no real nigga. Some, some, come fly with me. Come hey, fly with me. A nigga would have wrote that bitch about getting high. That's segregation too. Come fly with me <laughs> would have been them shooting dope in them times. That's that shit. That's that shit you listen to when they come would, fly with me. Needle right beside you. Yeah. That's the nigga singing the Kodak Black. <laughs> <laughs> Kodak Black <laughs> remix. <bro. laughs> Real quick, bro. Why you finish your list, man? That I ain't nigga. even gonna go through my list. That anything Quincy Jones, I'm fucking with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga did a lot of uh, man. He was doing a lot of uh, tunes for the Crackers, man. Yeah, they got. I got his list up here. They got uh, Quincy Jones' biggest, yeah, his hot top 100 hits. One Billy Jean, uh, We Are the World, which is crazy. He did that. Beat it. Rock with you. Uh, baby, come to me. Rock with you is one of the greatest songs ever. Man, in, man in the mirror, mirror, girl is mine. The way you make me feel, it's uh, my party. That's one when they um when they was going through the list of song. I did not know he did that. It's my party song. Really? It's my party. Yeah, I, I had no clue he did that song. That's yeah, crazy. I ain't know that. Man, his bag is just his bag is deep, man. I just can't stop loving you. Yeah, he got some shit, man. Yeah. Hey, man, to y'all niggas that was, y'all was, y'all re rocking that tweet, man. Fuck y'all niggas, man. Even though he probably would, but still, bro, just don't say it, bro. Y'all ain't got to say everything that come to your mind. What? I know everybody got intrusive thoughts, but you ain't got to say everything. They talking about some, when he, when he died, he talking about some RIP the original Diddy. Like, he probably had, he probably had some freaky parties, man. But well, still, he bro. definitely was involved with some. He told the stories. Oh yeah, he, he he was just telling everybody else shit. He tell his shit, bro. For was, you to know that, you in the loop, nigga. <laughs> yeah, he said Marlon Brando. He said Marlon Brando fuck anything. He said that man fuck a toaster, bro. He said he was giving it to them niggas pause, bro. <laughs> pause. Who say he fuck? He said fucking Marvin Gaye, bro. 
He said he uh, was Richard fucking Pratt. everybody. Everybody. Every everybody that niggas was like, yo, this this is the top. Yeah. Yeah. He uh-huh. said, he said, what do you like? He said, you like Brazilian music? So I was like, brother, I was like, he was fucking everybody, but uh not not you. Uh, come on, bro. Let's let's hey. move on, bro. Hey. Rest in peace, Crunchy Joe, bro. Hey. Let's stop it with the original Diddy shit. Hey. I, uh, I, then wait, let's wait till next week. <laughs> don't say it this week, man. I, I I don't wish none of that on him, and I don't want to spend all <coughs> ill on that man. Name. Like Jim Brown. As soon as Jim <laughs> Brown died, they're like, man, he was throwing bitches off the balcony. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, come on, bro. Let's wait till like people because um Jim Brown uh, granddaughter was at the Trump rally, and everybody was like. Hey man, wasn't your granddaddy throwing bitches off balconies? Like, bring it up now. Jim Brown is in the ground. He deep in the ground, bro. He, yeah. yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he decomposing. Now bring up he was eating, he was beating bitches and throwing them off balconies, <laughs> like Goro on, on Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Yeah, dude, bring it up now, bro. Don't bring it up when, when niggas just died, bro. Show some respect. At least, at least about five business days. That's crazy. So he died Monday, Monday, Friday, Monday through Friday. Our right, next Monday, bring up, just be like, damn, bro, he was the OG Diddy, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all remember the them pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I seen chicks talking about some of my hope Quincy, Quincy Jones voted. Already. I seen that. I seen that. Oh, like, bitch, let's be I real, man. <laughs> Let's be real, bro. Quincy Jones was a milkman. Yeah. <laughs> if he did vote, you you know who he voted for, man. Mm-hmm. He loved. He loved. I think he. Loved, I think he was married to uh, the lady from the Lipton Ice Tea, mm-hmm. or whatever, or something like that. Yeah, man. He, we know Peggy Lipton. We we know we know he was he was the milkman. But anyway, man, let's do real niggas of the week. They need their ass beats. Cause I wanted to talk about this Kodak shit, but I'm just gonna tie it into the they need their ass beats. Cause Kodak, I don't know who need their ass beat. It's either you or your team, but you are a druggie, my friend. But let's do real niggas a week. Um, first one, Young Thug. Salute the Young Thug, man. He got out, man. Sex, sex is free. Sex is free. He out. He got out that claim. Yeah, see how excited he was for that. Who who isn't excited about sex? Well, when you don't look, what you looking for, nigga? Nigga, yeah, you in the closet, nigga. Know what I'm talking about? You a homosexual? Know what I'm talking about? I ain't got nothing against you, but nigga, don't be trying to poison the pussy population, nigga. With your old, with your old sick dick. See, niggas be hating, bro. See, I'm excited about having sex, right? Yeah. I'm not excited about calling a man sex. You don't respect niggas, bro. And that's your problem. You just don't respect people. How, why is that? Uh, like, bro, when you come on here, you talking about some bro, call me Joseph the Explosive. Niggas respect that. Bro, that's crazy. That's what you want to be called, nigga? That's crazy. <laughs> you never came on here and be like, call me Joseph the Explosive. No, nigga, I never said that. You never said you was Joseph the Explosive. I never said, call me that. But that's your nickname, though. No, it's not, bro. All right, bro. No, it's not. What's your nickname, then? Don't worry about that. Mr. Beat a nigga ass. <laughs> That's not your nickname, bro. Yes, it is, Because it didn't even, can't come, it even sound convincing coming coming out your mouth, Pauls. I'll show you convincing. Man, man fuck you, man. <laughs> but shout out Young Thug, man. He's free. Boy, I don't You're know. Not. Say how you want to say it. Nah, you hate it, bro. I'm gonna say call, how you want to say I'm it, call him, I'm going to call him Jeffrey. Free. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Free, man. This nigga's a fucking hater, bro. You could call him slime. I'm not calling him slime, nigga. I'm not. I'm not a street nigga. Hey, bro. I don't want my nose white. Oh no, you can't call him that. He can't have no. He can't have no affiliations. Yeah, man. Yeah. And to you, niggas, man, shut the fuck up, bro. Y'all niggas sound like y'all niggas sound like POs, bro. That nigga, Young Thug, recorded a video with Ti. They talk. Oh man, this nigga Mm. violated his probation. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. If y'all was paying attention to the case, they said only people he can't hang around with is people that were a part of the case. Only people that was a part of the case that he can hang around is young. I mean, his is brother Gunna, and Gunna. His brother and Gunner, bro. They didn't say anything about he can't be around convicted felons, which T.I. is a convicted felon. But I'm pretty, but let's be honest, bro. Niggas not stupid, bro. Yeah, and I mean, they know that's for money, not for gang. <coughs> so. yeah, yeah. But it is, I, you know, I don't like, 
I ain't gonna speak on that. Say what you gotta say, bro. I just I just hate when people do that. It's like why even jump on the internet immediately like that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. man, y'all share that moment. Oh, you talking about Tia? Yeah, because to yeah. me, Thug ain't really look comfortable leaving. You know what I'm saying? It came off like a surprise to him. God. I ain't see the experience, so I'm yeah. just going off the clip. <laughs> I, I seen it, but uh, you could look at Thug and he was like, I was kind of like, bro, why are you recording me? Because th- this is two times T.I. done did the clout shit. Bruh. And that's what I'm saying. Like, these older generation rappers, we hold them in such regard because of, like, music that that, yeah. that we listen to. But a lot of the personal shit, man, we got to start, like, really paying attention to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because these ain't the people that we are list Like, the, the person, the, the, the persona is different. You yeah, because I, mean? I seen the first one. It was the first one uh, Chameleon had posted. And like T, T, she was like recording the phone. Yeah. And you like she was like ah, like she won the Super Bowl. And I was like, I don't think that should be recorded. And then the Ti one, he all in the nigga face. Like, imagine you meeting up with your homie. He just be like, he just got the phone in your face. Like, bro, come on, bro. What Hold you on, doing? You said who did it first? The first one was Chameleon had posted it with Thug. No, oh. it was when Thug. It was like right when Thug got out. I guess that the one of the first people he called was Ti. And he was on the FaceTime, and she was all got the phone like this. Oh, got you. Because yeah. she filming a movie with Tia. I don't know what they filming, but they filming a movie. Yeah. But um, she had did that. Then she recorded. She did flip the. She's like ah, the camera, and I was like, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Yeah. And see. then uh, then the one with the Ti, the nigga, all in the nigga got his shoulder on the nigga. Like look who I'm with. See, my thing is they hate when people do that to them. Yeah. Why do it to others? <laughs> exactly. And that nigga Thug was looking around like, he was like, yeah, slat or whatever. He was just doing, he was like, I was like, bro, I just came over to chill, bro. You the OG. I wanted to, I ain't seen you about two years. Right, like, nigga, right. can you not record me, my nigga? I don't know, man. T.I. be doing some weird shit sometimes. Like, All weird. them old ass niggas. Damn, bro. You and T.I. the same age, bro. Stop it, bro. Chill out. <laughs> What T.I. is like I'm, I, was, I was joking there But yeah. how old is T.I. realistically What is it? I don't know Probably yeah. mid 40s You think mid 40s Gotta be Let's look it up Let's see Let's see how old T.I. He ain't no 38 type shit 30 38 Yeah you right He about He, uh, he 44 Yeah 44 I'm just playing um, Next one You lucky we passed the limit bro Yeah we met the, We met the green quota From him yeah. <laughs> right, next time I'm gonna save a space it's, for you. It's your fault. I'm gonna save one slot for you. All right. <laughs> we were just talking about uh Wayne, man. Shout out Wayne, he got the key to the city, man. Yeah, shout out to Wayne. Hey man, this is my first time seeing the New Orleans mayor, man. Shit's is right. Oh yeah. I mean in that uh catwoman suit, she yeah. did tackle. Yeah, she got on the um uh, Let she, me catch her at aromas. She dressed like Monifa. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that uh, what the fuck, Master P got on? I was gonna say that suit, they're tighter than a motherfucker. <laughs> Ray his suit. That nigga, that nigga probably get it like a six from me. <laughs> that shit should have been tailored way better. He looked uncomfortable in that shit. This is the only way I can stand. <coughs> I'm gonna be honest, bro. Shout out to Master P, but I look at him different after Little Romeo was beefing with him. I remember <laughs> that shit. Yeah, I ain't bro. understand that. Yeah, man, I look at that nigga different, man. Uh, next one, real Yakub of the week, man. Duval legend, man. Tim Deegan, he's retired. At this is crazy. He was on the news for forty two years, bro. Yeah. That is insane. That's crazy. Legendary Jacksonville news anchor, man. Yeah. yeah. He did the. I think he does the weather. Mm-hmm. He does a little anchoring, man. Yeah. And his claim to fame was he took Dan Hicken's wife. He took it. He took it. Yeah. Donna Donna Deegan. That used to be Dan Hicken wife. Wow. Yeah. The mayor of Jacksonville. Wow. And he he and married he made her mayor. He married, yeah. He married to the mayor of Jacksonville, the current mm-hmm. mayor of Jacksonville. Yeah. Donna Deegan is Tim Deegan's wife. But she used to be this yeah, I got thought I was looking at y'all like, damn, you know this? But you from Pensacola, so Boy, you wouldn't know. I ain't no, I wasn't, no, trying, I ain't I wasn't no. trying to insult you. I'm just saying you when they was when she was Donna Hickens, right. you wasn't know you yeah. wasn't here yeah. yet. Yeah. But yeah, she used to be Donna Hicken, and everybody know Dan Hicken. He the dude that be doing the sports and shit. Yeah. 
which is <laughs> we were talking about we were talking about Jackson Amita, but yeah. yeah, Donna hit Donna Deegan, she's gonna be buried at uh Dan too many D's, Pauls. Yeah. Whoa. Dan Hickey. Whoa. Tim Deegan pulled Shut up, man. I'm just Tim saying. Deegan pulled up and said, he was like, that's my bitch now. Got her. She divorced, bro. Mm -hmm. Now she Donna Donna Deegan. And now she the mayor of Jacksonville, bro. Hey, that's a, that, that that's that's the realest. <coughs> yeah, took y'all it, cool. We done never had. Took, took yeah, took it took, took bro, bitch, bro. Yeah, and and still work there. Mm -hmm. Nobody got fired. They all still was working at the news station. That's crazy. That's crazy. He looked at. <laughs> imagine a nigga take your wife, and you and see him you, every day. He looking in the eye. Ain't, ain't that what happened on Anchorman? Damn. That might have been the storyline. Damn, based off yeah, based off a true anger mail, based off a true story. Damn, it does say that on the on the front. It say maybe based off a true story on the cover. There you go. Damn, that's crazy, man. They but, probably uh, sold that shit. That's why. That's why they had that campaign money. But man, so, let's run this shit. Damn, bro. But salute, bro. Tim Deegan, forty two years, bro. Don't anger man three coming soon. Please don't make another Anchor Man. <laughs> please, please, <laughs> nigga. I seen Anchor Man two in the theater. Yeah, bro. Anchor Man that two was, was terrible. I was terrible. legit about to walk out, bro. Terrible. What is the, what's the worst? I movie? was so mad. Like you seen it in the theaters? No, I, I seen, seen that, that shit on Bullet. <clears throat> I seen that been in the theaters, bro. I was so mad. What's the worst movie you ever seen in the, in the movie theaters? Hmm. Damn, I don't know. I'm a guy. I got Anchorman 2 and another one I seen in the movie theater that I was like, nigga, this shit's so bad. I seen the Strangers movie, the horror movie. Oh, yeah. Wait. I seen that in the movie theater. That Stranger movie is not good. Hold on. You talking about the one where... Uh, the original like, one with Ethan Hawke. I think that was Ethan. I don't think that was Ethan And Hulk. they was knocking on the door and shit in masks? Yeah. Nigga, that shit fire. That shit is not fire, brother. Fire. First, it's not a scare. It's it's not a horror movie. It's a thriller. When did I just say? When did I say it was a horror movie? I said uh, it wasn't a good movie. No, nah, that shit. That shit that wasn't shit, good, that shit bro. A good movie, bro. That shit. What, what what you ain't like about it? It was just boring as fuck, bro. And then like they ended up killing them all in the end, bro. It was like one of them things where like it's based they, on a true story. I don't care. It still wasn't good. Like had so the premise of the movie was like I understand the movie just wasn't good. It was boring as fuck. Like. They had the two, the couple, they was out in the cabin. Mm -hmm. They was about to, they had some marital issues. They, mm -hmm. I think they broke up, didn't they? Yeah. They pretty much breaking up. And he then had they had asked her to, um, he had asked her to marry him. <coughs> and she said no. And then they had to go home. Like they were at a wedding. Yeah. And he asked her to marry her. Yeah, nigga. Or first, at least at a dinner or something. First of all, you need to be getting you need to be getting axed, bro. You at somebody else's wedding and you asking a bitch to marry you. Yeah. Nigga, it's not your time. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Matter of fact, maybe the maybe the people that was getting married, maybe they sent, sent the strangers. Like, <laughs> that's man, funny. Like, bro, go kill Nah, this. that nigga got killed. From the wedding? Yeah, the nigga that um that his home, he the nigga that he. Went oh out yeah, there he for, came yeah. to the house. Yep, because he was finna pick up. Pick oh, maybe up. it was the wife, dude. <laughs> maybe no, was... he killed him. Matter of fact, that's what, bro. That shit was fire, and it wasn't Ethan Hawke in that movie. It was somebody else. Um, yeah, Brian I was tripping. Never shit, I was tripping. But, I was tripping about um, Ethan Hawke. Um, when I said that, I was thinking because Ethan Hawke, he did. Um, I don't know if you ever seen it's called Black Phone. Mm -mm. Black Phone is fire. Go watch that. Ethan Hawk got some good ass movies. Yeah, a matter of fact, they're making a uh, black phone too. Really? Yeah. You remember the one? Ethan Hawk was in Purge also, which is oh yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and his movie was his Purge was great. Yeah. He he wasn't in the first one though, was it? He it was wasn't in, the first one. He was in the first one. Okay, yeah, yeah. The first one to me the best one, honestly. Uh, Purge movie. If I remember correctly, yeah. Like the storyline was amazing. The like all of that shit just played and worked out really well. Oh yeah, most of um, a lot of most of them was good. Only one that I didn't like was that one where it was in Mexico. I think it was called the First Purge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was ass. Um, have you seen Civil War? Civil War. I'm talking about uh, it's Captain a new America? No. Nah. <laughs> He's green. I ain't seen it yet, but uh, Sam was in the Discord. He said it's fire. Bro, Sam be you watching. gotta take you gotta take it with a grain of salt. I Sam know. be watching monkey shit. All right, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's very racist to say. I don't care, nigga. He <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> I don't care, nigga. He watching monkey shit. I feel that. 
Hey man, that nigga Sam, he was hating on Groovin' Gorilla, man. Groovin' Gorilla's not. Hey man. Groovin' Gorilla. Groovin' Gorilla wins. Hey man. He green. When he be bro. making. <laughs> he, he is green. green. He's very green. But Groovin' Gorilla, when he be doing them Johnny Bravo videos, I'm sorry. Green. That bitch is funny, bro. That nigga like, <laughs> come here, lady. <laughs> Fuck it. Green oh ass my nigga. god, bro. When that nigga Groovin' Gorilla do the Johnny Bravo video, them motherfuckers be funny, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I don't care if y'all judge me. That's one of them things where I like, I know this is silly, but I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. Groovy, that shit is not funny, bro. Groovin' Gorilla just do the Johnny Bravo videos, man. All his shit corny. All right, man. It is what it is, bro. Ne- next one, man. Casa Knock, but- bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. You getting paid off that shit, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, do your thing, grooving, grooving. I don't even think bro name grooving gorilla, man. Bro name. He had to change it. That was his name. Yeah. That nigga was purposely calling himself that. That nigga. Just... Your mom, your mama call you grooving gorilla. I'm gonna call you grooving gorilla. His mama probably called him coon. <laughs> I think he. Uh, I think he might be a. Uh, what a grooving gorilla is he? Jamaican or he African? One of them. He overseas. I know he ain't American. He over water, yeah. Yeah, man. That's, that's y'all nigga. He not an FBA. Psh. Um, Next one, I got Kasanat. <laughs> Kasanat will be using 20% of all revenue from his upcoming Mafia-thon, Subathon to build a school in Nigeria. Saluting him on that, man. Yeah, y'all, sure. y'all niggas was hating, bro. Y'all said, why he ain't building a school in Haiti? Hey, man, you take your money and build a school in Haiti. Let bro build his school in Africa. Haters. Hey, Judge Joe Brown, man. Not Judge Joe Brown. Judge, Judge Greg, Greg Mathis. Mathis. He got he got his woman back, bro. Y'all niggas said he wasn't gonna get his wife back. He was in the he was in the uh airport and they were like, What you up to, Judge Mathis? He was like, I can't even get my woman back. And you on crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. But they were like and everybody like, bro, stop it, bro. Your woman gone, bro. But nah, he got his woman back, bro. Hey man. Salute to him. I don't know, bro. Judge Mathis, if you watching, bro, she probably got some she got some dick on the low, bro. You gotta accept some things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Charge it to the game if you want if you love her. Yeah, she got some she got some little she got some young dick on the low. She realized the street wasn't fun. She came back, bro. Cause like, bro, you've been married for forty years, dog. It's like at that point, it's like, nigga, ain't nothing in the streets for you. I'm married. It, it, it's not, if you married for 40 years, there's nothing that should be able to break your marriage up. Nah, that's real. Like, nigga, you, you, at 40 years, y'all might as well just stay together. For 40 years, get you another apartment, you know what I'm saying? And y'all separate for six months and come back. That's what most people, that's what mm-hmm. most of them old people be doing, mm-hmm. bro. They just get, they, well, they got, they usually have a house. Yeah. The mom sleeping in one bedroom. Yeah. Nigga, that's how y'all do it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, some yeah some married couples they just got they got separate houses. Mm-hmm. Do it, do that, bro. You got money, Judge Mathis. They mm-hmm. Judge Mathis made like a million dollars an episode of some shit, some crazy ass ignorant shit. There you go. They go build, go get her house. Y'all live in Detroit. House is like uh, thirty dollars in Detroit. Go get her house. I know them royalties gotta be crazy because that Not nigga sure. be playing every day, <laughs> all Send, day. Yeah, every day. Yeah, every time I'm at my grandma's house, she watching that. She watching that and. Uh, what you call it, bro? Dead. That shit still be on TV. The uh, the Jerry Springer court show. Oh yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, still yeah. on. That should be having new episodes. Yeah. I'm like, God damn. Oh, uh, what was brand name? Um, some Wilbur or some shit. Wilbon. Steve Wilkos. Wilkos. There you yeah. go. There you go. The Steve Wilkos. Show. We talking about Judge Show, dummy. Stay on track. <laughs> You the one who brought him up. I said, cause J- Jerry Springer got a cut a judge show. Yeah, you never seen that? No, but wasn't Steve Wilkos on that shit? <laughs> no. Oh my bad. <laughs> we were talking about judge shows. Now my judge, bad. I Ma- thought he was in that shit. Nah. That ain't the big tall bald dude that used to be with. Uh, oh uh, no, no, he was on Jerry Springer. He was on Jerry Springer. The, the Jerry Springer, the TV show. Right. But Jerry Springer had a court court show right, too. Right, right. I remember he had a court show. I don't remember who was on it with him. Like, nah, cause was, he was nah, the judge, right? Nah, uh, nah. You talking about Jerry Springer? Yeah. Nah, nah. No, yeah. Jerry Springer was a George judge, but he did that like right before he died. Like he stopped doing the regular show and started doing the court show mm-hmm. where he the judge. Mm-hmm. But like for whatever reason, bro, did like the still that bit still dropping. 
I think they had that nigga doing eight shows a day, like Cree Summers. Like, that nigga yeah. had that. They're like, yeah, nigga, you gonna pump these shows out. I thought he was uh, security on that shit, too. Um, or the, the bailiff, rather. You ever watch the Steve Walker show? Um, a couple times. That shit was in every, yeah, right, every episode of the Steve Wilco show, the same thing, bro. He was like, why you beating your bitch? Yeah. And then, boom, yeah. fight breaks up. <laughs> why you beating her? Uh, why you touching that kid? This is your child. Yeah. All he did was berate them niggas. It's every, every episode. <laughs> you need to be good to her. Yeah. And he Nigga just be take, standing two feet over him, too. <laughs> then you take a chair and just throw that bit. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? Now, I remember one time, Queens Flip, he had a dude that was on a Steve Wilco show. And it was the episode, I don't know if you ever seen it, but Steve Wilco threw a chair at this dude, and the chair got stuck in the wall. Mm. So Queens Flip had the dude on his show. Yeah. And Queens Flip was like, why you let that white man do that to you? He was like, I would have slapped Steve Wilkos. And the dude was like, man, he he said, he called Queens Flip. He's like, man, shut the fuck up, nigga. You a bitch. You ain't gonna he was like, he was like, the shit he like, the shit you talking about, Steve Wilkos, do that to do that to me right now. Yeah. This nigga Queens Flip got up because they was at the little table. <laughs> yeah. And the dude was at the couch. That nigga Queen Flip, he like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Nigga Queen Flip got up and grabbed a bottle of water and just poured it on the nigga head <laughs> while the nigga was just sitting there. And then they was like, they were acting like they were about to fight. But I was like, brother, nigga, pour water in your head. I was like, you sit down. That's, if a nigga stand on you, pour water in your head, I'm about to hit you with an eight punch combo in the nigga, chest. Nigga, the uppercut gonna be so vicious, nigga. Right, you, right, you went and had shit on me. Like they gonna have to call that the Joe Yukin. The Joe Yukin. I was like, bro, once you seen that nigga pour, take the cap off, and had the water over your head, you should have been like winding up eight punches. It's gonna be one of them where I'm. Freeze framing in stages <laughs> as I'm knocking your ass out with the uppercut. I would have been like, ha, <laughs> ha, <laughs> Like, nigga, why you just letting the nigga just stand over you and pour water on you, bro? You think it's weird, bro. That's crazy. Pull that nigga card, bro. Uh, I got this one nigga, man. He the, he he, my real nigga of the week. Nah, this nigga hilarious. I've been, I've been watching him for a little minute. He, he, he got some good shit for sure. I ain't never seen bro before, but salute to him. What is that? What does your company do and how was it formed? OCDA is an acronym for Occupational Care Diversity Affairs. Uh, and what we do is people go to my website, they file a complaint about their boss or their supervisor, anything like that. We show it to the job and we cuss their ass out. Yeah, all, all, everything you want to say to your boss, everything you want to say to your boss that you can't say, y'all. Contact us, go to our website, ocdaofficial.com, and we'll show up and say all the things you want us to say verbatim. Is it anonymous? Like, do they know who it's Oh, from? yeah, the complaints are totally anonymous, but I say everything verbatim, so you can curse on your complaints. I'm going to curse anyway. Yeah, now I will say this. Like, he do a great job, but some of his shit is definitely OD. I don't like when niggas do shit and it's, like, too ignorant, you know what I mean, to yeah. where... Like, you got to understand this inspires someone else to do something similar type shit. Yeah. And then shit builds. You fuck around with the wrong person. You know what I mean? So now you talking about this particular one? Or you no, talking no, about no, the no, 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 no. Just in general. I'm going to play this. Because I'm going to be honest. I didn't look at it. Like, like I watched one. He was cussing in church. He was cussing at people in church. And that's 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 a bit that's crazy. excessive. Y'all sit down. Even for a skit. not going to last long enough to sit down. You don't know what's going to last. This is my meeting. <laughs> this one was funny, though. This is not your facility. Listen, let me tell you, like I tell other... Time out. Let me tell you something. Like I tell other supervisors and managers and uh, 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 bosses, if you're not the CEO of the company, you ain't shit but part of the bottom line. You ain't nothing right. but a puppet but a CEO. Right. This is not... For you to say this is your facility tells me all the entitlement that you think you have or think you supposed to have. This is not your facility. You got to punch in just like everybody else. And when we done with this meeting, you going to carry your ass back to work and do whatever you was doing. No, because this is not his facility. You time out. You time out, because that's how we talk at OCDA. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had this when I was working, bro. Cause I used, to, I used, to, but I used to do my boss dirty sometimes. Cause I was a manager, but my boss, he, of course, I had a boss. But uh, I was supposed to like when we had different shit. I was supposed to like de-escalate stuff. Yeah, and so he ain't even got to worry about it. But sometimes, like when he was about to come into this shit, I used to like like put everything on him. So I remember one time this black lady, bro, 
at the airport, you see all kind of shit. So her her um, parking fee was like, bro, that bill was like, bro, that bill was like six dollars, bro. She ain't got she got no money, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, so I'm when it's when it's like cheap like that, we were supposed to do like IOUs and just like bill them for how much it was. So, bro, I I knew he was about to come in at eight a.m. I told that lady, I was like, it's nothing we can do for you. <laughs> I just told her it was nothing you can do. I was like, it was, it was nothing we can do for you. She was like, what the fuck? It's nothing you can do for me? I was like, nothing you could do for me. As soon as he came in, she was, I was like, hey, he can. I was like, oh, my boss just came in. He, he, can, he can help you out. And at this point, the lady was there like 30 minutes. Bro, she yeah. cussed him clean the fuck out, bro. That's funny. I was like, hey man, fuck you. I could have easily just gave her an IOU and like let her out, but all right, nah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Brett get cussed out, bro. Um, I'm starting to question: Is America ready for a woman president? <coughs> bro, you gotta let that West that West Coast that you, bro. We do this every year. Bro. I'm you just gotta, saying that bit getting way too close to the West Coast. For the margin to be this this drastic, bro. West Coast three hours behind us. You gotta yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. think the polls closed at eight. You ain't gonna see. You, we ain't gonna you gotta see give shit minutes. wrapped up until yeah. I get that. I think that's that. Uh, that might be all the points Trump get. I would hop on Twitter and see what niggas say, but we're recording right now. But um, my next one is this dude. I think this is Omega. He gonna Omega and talk to racist people and give them and dox yeah, the yeah. address. Because they're actual Africans. They're like actual animal chimps. <laughs> and they, they don't <laughs> care. 30 St. Petersburg, Florida? Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Oh. Checkmate. Damn, it sounds like a library in this bitch. <laughs> What's going on? You sit in there all quiet like a church mouse, dog. God damn. What was that you were saying? Ch See, I bet you didn't wake up this morning thinking a chip was going to do that to your ass now, did you? Mm. Now, let me ask you another question. Who is me? Is that you? Don't tell me that's you, big dog. Not like this. You don't look like a to me. Usually, are nice people. You look more like a Ryan. You know, you Ryans are hateful people. Oh, sorry. My bad. I didn't, you want a piece? You're really gonna ruin a 14 year old's life over over on um, TV? No, no yeah. don't play the victim. Listen to me carefully, you fucking recessive chromosome. Okay, don't play the victim now. You knew exactly what you was doing. Absolute, bro. So that ain't even his best shit. He don't always dox their address, but he definitely tear them crackers up. Where bro got that banana from? I guess they were calling him we call him well, monkey. Yeah, on Omega, everybody called them niggas. Oh yeah. Damn, bro. At least Sam cousin alone. <laughs> That's right, funny. This yours. We already did this one that, that right, didn't happen. Right, right, right. That <laughs> right. nigga got a Tyler Perry skit on his for a real nigga. The week. What's this one right here? So I got to give it to this officer, actually, because it's only too many times that I'm going to let you call me nigga, and I got some opportunity to beat your ass. I ain't. I, I rebuke this. We ain't giving no swines and no real nigga the week. I'm just playing. All right, so it's a black officer. It's a body cam, right? Yeah. Well, right, it's the white man's body cam, but yeah. <laughs> Do the black man not got a body cam? Um, I think they showed this angle because it puts both parties in view. I got you. I'm still sitting on my seat. I have the right so leg. For me to tell you what happened, I'm not leaving. I'm all five of my kids. Not... It's a Georgia Florida game? Yep. Uh, so I'm looking at it. He doesn't have any Georgia merch. Doesn't have any Florida merch. What fan you think he is? Well, he's a Georgia fan. That's 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 no question. Uh, I will say his colors indicate that, but <coughs> you know, no, also okay. his views. You can yeah, tell he's no. a South Georgia person now, for sure. Cracker, you can't afford you can't afford a bulldog shirt. Bulldog mm -hmm. shirts like ten dollars mm -hmm. at Walmart. They only had one for his girl. <laughs> I have the right way. It's for me to tell you what happened. I'm not leaving. I'm all five of my kids. I'm a 
Nah, that's the chair. He said he ain't got no wrong door. They should have actually beat his ass more. Yeah. I think the white dude that was he at the seen, body cam, he should have been, he should have helped out He should have started the fight, honestly. But, uh, bro, bro, like, I know the audio's hard to, he like, make out um, like that, especially without seeing the video. So, sign, you know, go over to YouTube and check out the video. But um, he started it by saying that he if, if he was going to jail, yeah. he was going to do it beating their ass in the process you know what i'm saying also why why you just said that hey man definitely sign up for the patreon because the youtube videos that we be having is definitely not the same as the, the one yeah, that's on yeah, youtube yeah. because i'm definitely have to blur that out <laughs> oh. but if you're on a patreon you're gonna see it but yeah i gotta blur that out but yeah basically but just google it you yeah know, yeah, Florida, yeah, Georgia. yeah yeah look it up man but uh that's crazy man and that, that let me they let, they let you know, bro. These these people, these be y'all coworkers, man. And yeah, be, for real. And they be racist as fuck, bro. For real. Yeah, man. Anytime they get an opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like nigga, you did they say why they was up there though? Like well, they just started a disturbance of the game? Yeah. I think it was some kind of a disturbance. And they, they, they weren't trying to arrest him at all. They were literally just <coughs> asking him to leave. Yeah. Oh, they was making him leave. Oh, okay, yeah. he probably got a little too drunk. Nah, I mean, he did state in there that somebody was trying to kidnap his kids. I don't what? know how that's possible if your girl, like, I don't know if that was their mom, per se. Mm. But, um. I didn't even see no kids up there. Yeah, I didn't either. But it's like you had clearly had enough adults in your group that they should have watched them to prevent anything like that from happening for one. And I'm not trying to place no blame in that regard. But what I will say is um, that sounds rather random. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that don't make no sense, bro. I'm going I'm to kidnap the kids in the nosebleed. The, the, the nosebleed. Bro, they was up there, bro. Of the Everbank Stadium? <laughs> bro, they was in the... First of all, he couldn't afford a shirt. He was in the $10 seats. That's another thing. Also, when I when I notice working at the airport, bro, them them rednecks like that, them racist rednecks, bro, they don't be having no money, bro. They be poor. Yeah, <laughs> they got enough money for their truck and their crib, and that's it. They spend all their money on that uh, that that uh, Silverado, yeah, with, with, with forty inch lifts on it. Bro. <laughs> that's all they can afford, bro. All right, next one, bro. Someone else crazy got in the game. They mad Jason Kelsey. Oh yeah, Mike. Oh well. He said the F word. Well, nah, somebody called him the F word. Called his brother the F word. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel? <laughs> yeah. Kelsey, Kelsey. Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. Kelsey. How does it feel your brother's is back at the end? Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? Damn. Hey, man. It is a video. It's a it is a version where Kelsey said the f word, but he said, "How do you? How do you?" He said some shit about uh, how do you? F I don't know. He said the f word too, and mm -hmm. TMZ tried to play that shit just to make sure, make it look, make him look bad, and yeah, then yeah. also he apologized. Like, I wouldn't apologize. I wouldn't, have, but in that position, you have to. Oh, wow. I mean, one, don't harass me. I'll pay the prop. I'll pay the fine. Yeah. Personally, you know what, what I'm saying. What, it's no fine. The, you don't like, play football no more. No, 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 no. Like that, that, that's a destruction of property. <coughs> what grabbing dude's phone? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's destruction of property. He could actually sue bro for that. Well, good thing it was recorded, bro. Yeah. All right, next one from King. It said, "Uh, shout out to this retired Atlanta man who turned a school bus into a mobile laundry service for homeless people." Salute. That's a big fire. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Let me skip over that. They need their ass beats. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I got the people, man. First of all, to y'all dudes, that was, I know who it was, but I ain't gonna call you out. You motherfuckers that was pulling up the celeb shit, seeing if they voted or not. Corny, bro. Y'all niggas too invested. Y'all niggas pulled up Kendrick Lamar shit to see to see that he never voted ever. I like, bro. If you listen to Kendrick Lamar music, that nigga not voting, bro. It's nothing about it's nothing about Kendrick Lamar that make you think 
that he would be voting, bro. That nigga, that nigga was on the damn album talking about he was a black Israelite, bro. That nigga's a hotep nigga, bro. Yeah. I don't. I think a lot of y'all niggas be, might have just became fans of Kendrick Lamar after the Drake shit. That nigga is like one of them fake hotel woke niggas, bro. Here he's definitely not voting, and I can't wait until this new album come out. And y'all gonna y'all new fans gonna hear hear that shit. And then Kendrick Lamar gonna be on some Tariq Nasheed shit, and it's gonna slap y'all in the face. <laughs> it's gonna be and y'all niggas gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think that um, <coughs> I definitely think Kendrick knows he can make good like they not like us was a, a, a great hit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. His feature on that future shit. You know what I mean? I feel like Kendrick stepping into a new bag. I'm gonna be a little surprised for sure by what comes. So, bro, he was on. He was on the. Uh, he was talking about. Uh, he was like shaming women that were shaking ass and they were trying to cancel him, bro. Kendrick do do shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Mm. Uh next one, man. I know I say uh them ten them ten. Them twenty versus ones be my uh guilty pleasure, but uh I, I throw in a hat, bro. I'm not watching no more, man. This nigga yeah. YSL Woody. This some Cointel Pro shit. YSL Woody did a twenty V one. With Lil RT and the Lil RT shits be weird because they be trying to disguise it as him trying to get a friend, mm -hmm. but they like throw like a little boy in there here yeah. and there to make it seem like they trying to match him up to get like a friend, but no, bro, you trying to it be mostly little girls too, so yeah. it's it's kind of like a kid version of a twenty v v one pretty much. Yeah, but they did one where it was YSL Woody was trying to get the the mom and then little RT, they had a little boys and little girls. The mom need her ass beat for bringing her kid to a 20v1. And then she also need her ass beat for letting little RT talk to her little son like that. And this clip here? Yeah. yeah. Like little RT this was talking was to crazy. Her, little RT was talking to her son crazy. Step and to then, the side, bro. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, nigga was wild. And he was talking to her crazy. Like yeah. propelling that shit to me is insane. We ain't here for you, little bruh. Oh! Scrap us aside. Start to side. We here for your mama. See? Okay. All type shit. Type shit. She talking about type shit. Where y'all from? Woody Woo. Where you from? Atlanta. Where he from? Atlanta. Atlanta? Mm -hmm. uh, give me five. Type shit. Type shit. Step daddy. Uh, he don't mean, he don't Step mean no, daddy. He don't mean no, he don't mean no harm. He just, he, just, he just trying to figure out what's best for him. You said step daddy. You don't know he wants to get or not. You still with his dad? Bro, if I was that little boy daddy, bro. Custody coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is enough to get full custody of your kid. 100%. Whoever, bro, the legit daddy is, he got to be a deadbeat. Bro. Ain't no way an active dad letting that happen. Not at all. Not yeah, at bro, all. I'm getting full custody, bro. I'm going to be Charleston White in the courthouse. <laughs> I'm breaking up everything. I'm going to be Freddie Gibbs. All right, bro. I gotta delete that. Up. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> All right, that's funny. What's the what was it? The Chase shit? The Chase Bank? Yeah. Yeah, the Chase. Yeah, y'all getting spanked, bro. Bro, count said negative thirty one. <laughs> thirty eight. Thirty eight. Oh yeah, that's seven. Yeah, I ain't see that at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, bro. Y'all. Yeah, I'll be thirty eight hot. I'll be using thirty eight escape ropes on my neck. Yeah. And nigga, if I damn, you can't even abandon it because that go on your credit. Straight up. Yeah, you can't even abandon that. You can get another bank account with somebody else, but that chick. No, not after this. Are you kidding? You can't get another bank account? I don't think so. Damn. Oh, you could probably get like a cash up one. Mm -hmm. But it's still going to go in your credit either way. But either, yeah. yeah, this nigga, bro, this nigga sick. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, oh, man. Video. They really told me to tap in. Next day, I was supposed to clear and look at my account, yo. Oh, nah. He got finesse. Bro, what oh, the... somebody else spent that money. He got finesse. They hit him with that. If you got a, a bank that got five years and you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the he old got account. finesse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened all the time. 
They told me to tap in. Yeah, dumbass nigga. Shit. You're supposed to find another dummy. Man. Yeah, you're supposed to get somebody else's account, bro. You're supposed to get your grandma account. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Not that I would do it, but my grandma said that really shit to me like a couple of months ago. We were talking about credit. <laughs> and she was like, I'm old. I don't need good credit. I was like, yeah, you're you're right. You're like, well, like she was like, my grandma 83. She was like, why do I need a 700 credit score? I'm old. Like it don't trying to get my it people, don't matter that more. Trying to get my grandparents to run that shit up. Like, hey, <laughs> it's that time. <laughs> Diggas, it's not, that time. Not, crazy. not to say, not to say that it's that time for them to go. God forbid. You know what I'm saying? But it's that time for us to get this bag. Yeah, I get. I just get exactly what you mean. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. Time, let's get this bag. Run, run that credit up, bro. Like, at this, at, if you we gonna get a quick twenty thousand overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's do this. Yeah, bro. If you pass eighty, bro, you know, if you could be a five, you could have a five hundred credit score. You be straight. You already got your house at this point. You already got your car. Like, yeah, you gonna need good have good credit. Credit is for young people, man. Young people need credit, bro. All right, bro, this nigga, bro, this made me not even want to do DoorDash no more, man. This mm-hmm. dude got an order. He did some nasty-ass shit. Big, big, funky honky. Hello. It's in the house. <laughs> Everyone's really full. Kid. All right, thanks so much. Have a good night. Thanks. Nah. <laughs> yeah, bro. So it was like some soda at the edge of the cup, and bro licked that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. I yeah. watch that camera back and be like, "Fuck no, hey, fire this nigga, terminate, yeah. terminate." Uh, yeah, man, that's disgusting. I say some need for next week. Um, this one, bro. I ain't not. I'm not gonna say, bro. Mom need hit her ass beat, but she need to. She need to stop the bullshit. Bro was he was at his mom crib and he was trying to get a drink of juice. Yeah, and she had she put bro she put oil in a minute made. Nah, yeah, nah, that's crazy. Yo, this is no joke, right? I just came to pour some juice in my mom's house. The light was off, couldn't really see. Bro, this shit is fucking cooking oil, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad I turned the light on. Something ain't seen right, man. I swear to God. This cup heavy as a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga was pouring that bitch. That bitch was pouring out slowly, bro. He's like, bro, this is that Waukesha. For real. Like, hey, bro. bro. That's a big ass cup, too. That nigga pour it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. I, somebody need to ask me for real because you got to write something like that on 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 the container. Yeah, let somebody know or something like that. That's... Um, I seen a nigga. He put ketchup in a syrup bottle. Oh wow, that was wild. Yeah. Also, I I know I know most people. If your parents cook and cook, they keep the kid cooking oil, uh-huh. but you don't put it in a minute made bottle. Usually, yeah. either like. Like Most of the time, you just put it to the side of the refrigerator. Or you don't, you don't need or some shit. Yeah, yeah, canister. Oh, most of, most of the time, uh, usually my grandma and my mom, they always put it in a Folgers jar. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say some kind of jar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, jar or something, bro. You don't put it in a minute made cart and then put it in the refrigerator. She said, mm, "This, it, bro, that's crazy." And yeah, she that. had to pour that out of a bottle. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, that, yeah, his mom tripping, bro. I don't even know how she did it with such precision. Oh yeah, you got a like, especially you got a big ass frying pan, bro. What? And first of all, she when you, probably had a funnel. That's I'm gonna give it a benefit of the doubt because that that's meticulous. You got to she do that. Yeah, you got to strain the oil also because I don't know because you got the little. Yeah. I don't know if you yeah. ever seen it, but the little strainer that right. you pour the oil, the little uh-huh, uh-huh. canister. It's like you got to strain it and then you got to put it in a minute made bottle. Like what's going on, lady? That's crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say she ain't need to ask me. Well, we gotta upgrade it, dude. man. You need yeah. you need get your shit together, bro. She need to ask me. You almost killed your son. Yeah. That nigga had the ice and the oil too. That bro. nigga, that nigga he got a ready. fat ass. He cup. was ready to drink. <coughs> See, I would have been in trouble because nigga like me, I drink from the jug. Yeah, I would have been toast, nigga, because that bit would have been high as the sky. <laughs> uh, oh, pause. That's crazy, bro. All right, you gotta be careful now because she like to stab niggas. Oh yeah, yeah, she looked like she stabbed niggas. 
You ain't gonna sell oh, it. Oh, my bad. This is a. Uh, this yours. Yeah, I ain't know if you was gonna play the video and then I talk about it, but um, this is a uh, who is that uh, Kiki Wyatt, Kiki ain't it? Wyatt, yeah. yeah, Kiki Wyatt was in the, like this. Ain't no disrespect to mall jewelers, <laughs> but you buy jewelry out the mall in Douglasville, Georgia. <laughs> A Rolex, that, right? Yeah, two Rolexes. Nigga, what? Thinking that you're getting top of the line shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the service, you know, like, that's a finesse. That's a finesse. Going to the mall to get <coughs> your, your chain, your watch, and shit like that. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not trying to knock it. But yeah, she was wilding in this uh, clip to me. Nigga, we know Kiki Wild, bro. She a little, she a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, also, mm-hmm. man. You can just look, at just it, look at her, bro. Yeah. And also, man, whoever owned this this jewelry store, you might need to uh, close shop because this lady's crazy. She she, if she, that bitch. she she yeah she said what you say she bombed that bitch yeah bro she <laughs> she because bro said he ain't giving her money back mm-hmm. she gonna do she nigga Kiki like we said Kiki Y be stabbing niggas. She gonna do something, bro. <laughs> she gonna get her get back, <laughs> bro. She on, bro. She ain't, she got eleven kids at the house, bro. She don't give a fuck. She don't got no. She don't got no issue throwing her life away. Right. So yeah, you nigga, you better close that shop, bro. Go to another mall. I, I bought these Rolexes at this store. Oh hell no, this video six minutes. Hold on, let me show y'all. Let me yeah, show y'all what the store look like. Okay. And these and and shit's falling apart, and they don't wanna. They don't wanna swap the shit. They don't wanna help a nigga out like here's the shit even saying it like that no one's gonna diamond ring company she bought it from a bullshit in arbor place mall in douglasville and they let me buy two rolexes from them it's called and they falling apart diamond ring company and all i ask these first of all those are i'm gonna those are bust down rolexes yes they ain't worth a fuck yeah bro the nigga put some bullshit in it bro yeah, that she was wildin'. <coughs> Bruh, I know Kiki Wyatt. She got a white mom. Bruh, that white jumped out when she said, yeah. help a nigger out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that white jumped out, bro. We ain't gonna do this Glorilla, man, because you hating and that bitch got music on it. No, I ain't I ain't, I ain't hating on Glorilla. She should have took the opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Kamala team need their ass beat, for real. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of strange, bro. It's definitely some, there's nothing. Definitely some boondock shit. Yeah, there's nothing positive about that song. There's nothing motivational about that song. There's nothing like... This again ain't to take away from Glorilla at all, but it's like that is <clears throat> that is one of the worst lights you could put on the black community for a fucking presidential campaign. They were twer- they were twerking. I know the make shit. They were twerking. Nah, not in this. They they weren't twerking, but they um. Hey man, I don't hate Meg, but I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm gonna say this, bro. And I, once again, I do not hate Meg the Stallion. I'm not. I don't think Tory Lanez didn't shoot her. I think he did shoot her, bro. Let me put that disclaimer out. Let me tap dance a little bit before I say what I gotta say. Hey, bro. It's kind of weird that every time Meg the Stallion gets scrutiny, she shake her ass every single time. Every single time she get a little backlash, she shake her ass. Cause they had uh they pulled up that documentary or well, it came out I ain't watched that shit cause I don't got no reason to watch it. She was like cheering like they won a championship ring when Tory Lane got them ten years. Mm-hmm. Everybody was like all right they're like it's kind of weird that you mm-hmm. celebrate the shit like right. that. But uh as soon as she got that and then they brought up the uh, whole shit about the the Gail King shit about she lied about fucking Tory. Yeah. Next day shaking that ass I ain't I I look. I watched the video was like twenty minutes. I don't know why the video was twenty minutes. Yeah. But I like obvious and she made sure she shook her ass. She had that moose knuckle out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was wild. <laughs> Throwing that shit around. Oh, like, every time she gets some scrutiny, she shake that ass. Low, low, low record sales. Shake that ass. Yep. I respect it, man. Yep. It keeps her relevant. Hey man, I had to put that disclaimer. I like make, but I'm just saying. I just don't like when they do that whole, you know, I'm being victimized for my body type shit. You know what I'm saying? And not 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 victimized, not victimized. I don't mean to say that. Uh, I meant to say like um, <coughs> sexualized. Sexualized. I don't think, does Meg say that? She did. She had a point to where she said that when she stopped twerking. 
I don't remember that. I know Angel Reese be saying that, but she always be wearing the pants yeah, up she, her ass. And then she makes tweets and things like that. She 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 had a a, a post that said. I could I could be fully clothed and still be giving sexy or some shit like that. Still, you know, something along those lines. And it's just like, hey, if you that's don't, how, that's how tame. Huh? That's how tame. Yeah, but it still alludes to, hey, even if I'm giving you the same energy as if I'm butt naked, right? But <coughs> that's my allure. Buy into this. Hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like that that's what I feel like it comes off as. Um when you when you frame things like that. I could be fully clothed, but I'm still giving that same sexy kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like then you're wanting me to continue watching for yeah, this see. reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might not be me watching to see when you have on, you know, short shorts, but it might be me watching you fully clothed with those same imaginations. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's 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 why I say I think that you know sometimes we just got to take a step back and reevaluate. I took a quick peek at Twitter, bro. Niggas, niggas said we about to be on that plantation tomorrow. Yeah, it's looking like it. <sighs> you should have voted, bro. It was you, Joe. What if we mm-hmm. missed by one vote? You remember when Gillum had? We remember when Gillum had missed that shit by? Um, they did a recount. <sighs> You remember Gillum had Andrew Gillum, I think it was the Florida governor. I think he had missed that shit by like three votes. Oh, bro, that's all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't see Kamala winning nothing else. She got, damn, bro, got Wisconsin. Oh, fuck. No. He ain't get Wisconsin. Not Wisconsin, He's Wyoming. Leading. He's leading in Wisconsin. Damn. He's leading in Kansas and New Mexico, Arizona, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia. Well, nice knowing y'all, bro. This is the last episode of R.E.L.P., man. Damn. We had fun, bro. We gave y'all nine years in the game, bro. bro. Hey, uh, King, man, we finna get jobs. Or psychosis, psychosis. Yeah. <laughs> psychosis. Oh, psychosis, huh? you about to get a job, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you bigger than me and Joe. Yeah. So you go, they're going to they have you. T- <laughs> they're going to work you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to be, they're gonna, you going to be a first round pick. That's psychosis. Funny. And then when they do that, they do that nigga draft, bro. That's crazy, man. Damn, I don't like this. Right. I'm gonna have to eat my words here soon. I told some folks, "Hey man, you know, you know Kamala winning this shit, man." <coughs> bro, that nigga Le'Veon Bell. He said if Kamala win, he said he moving, bro. Like you safe. And then man. Brett Favre, Brett Favre, you're going to jail. Well, nah, now that Trump win, he actually won't go to jail. Yeah, yeah. He like, definitely he, he gonna write that letter. He gonna write yeah, that bro. letter. Hey, hey Trump, this is your good old pal. It's Brett Favre, bro. That's <laughs> crazy, bro. Hey, man, Lil Dirk might get <laughs> Trump going to free Lil Dirk. That would be insane. And you know he going to free Lil Dirk, bro. Nah, that Jesus would be insane. Christ, you man. think he would have freed Thug? He said that. He, at one of, he said that at one of the rallies. That's he said he was going to free Young Thug at one of the <laughs> rallies, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Trump. Hey man, we'll do last. We'll do this last one, bro. This one from Rome. Uh, Allen Iverson did a. Uh, I don't know what this was a tea commercial. This for you tea ass niggas. Is this a Japanese brand or something? What is that writing? Japanese. You said Japanese. Yeah. Boy, racist, bro. It's China. Oh okay. I'm just playing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> ja- it's, ja- it's Japan. Japan. Jap. Oh, I I'm, mean Japan. I'm, I'm, I'm racist. I mean Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Japan. That's crazy. Oh my God, bro! Wait, it's Alan Iverson, bro. Hi, Alan. Can I get your autograph? Of course. Here you go.
不可挡。康师傅冰红茶。It's like a million things wrong. It's like, first of all, why do you need CGI for Allen? Allen Iverson can't run or something. Boy, that's crazy. That's crazy. He don't. I'm gonna be honest. He do look like you know, he might be struggling with something. <laughs> Nigga, Martin Lawrence, bro. He do kind of give me them vibes, bro. Allen Iverson swole up in a way that <coughs> the nigga look. He got a little. He got a little. Yeah, that's what happened when you tired. He gained a little weight. No, 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 one hundred percent. But he don't look like he could run right now. Yeah, he can't run around the hallway a little bit. I don't know because everything that they did in this clip definitely seemed like something an ex pro just, athlete should be able to do. Yeah, bro, he was just running. Only, after you retired. only thing that was in that video that I was like, all right, you could probably got to get a stunt it's double a when slide. he did a little slide. Yeah, They're yeah. like, yeah, nigga, most people can't. Even if you in shape, you're not sliding like that, right, bro. Right, yeah, especially bro. on a, a hard ass floor. <laughs> Everything was weird about that. Even the beginning when they were talking, yeah. that wasn't Allen Iverson's voice. That bro. was somebody. I like some. I don't know, bro. That was strange. Everything about. But I know weird. he got a crazy bag to do that shit. He definitely got some M's to do that. I lied. I got one more. This one from uh, um, hold up. This one from Payboy Sam. This lady, she got arrested. She said Canadian volleyball player arrested after. My laptop be doing whatever the fuck he want to do. <laughs> Your shit going crazy. I think the button was stuck. It said Canadian. <laughs> I give up, bro. She got, she got. She, right, she, 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 after getting Pretty paid quick. $300 to smuggle over a million dollars worth of drugs, girl math. So yeah. she got paid $300 to smuggle a million dollars worth of drugs. Cooked, bitch. You better snitch. Hey man, I would have ran off on the plug. You talking about if you were the lady? Hell yeah, bro. What the fuck was she about to do with a million dollars worth of drugs? Oh, you got to do it. Bro. They would have found that lady and killed the fuck out of her. Yeah, you ain't lying. I don't know. Like, what I what I, I say it all the time on here. I say, man, if you give girls that you, you you put that on them, they'll do anything for you. Like that girl that was doing a little telekinesis with her hands. Mm -hmm. You put that thing on them, they'll do anything. Bro, digging it down. They like, bitch, move, move these drugs. I'm, I'm going to give you about 300. <laughs> <laughs> she probably didn't even know she had three a million dollars worth of drugs on her. She probably just knew she had drugs. <coughs> hey, man. Yeah, she bought, she bought simple. She look, yeah, she look a little slow, man. How, uh, they, 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 oh, they ain't dancing and stuff yet. No. She at least getting 20. Nah, bro, she better snitch. She might get a little. She might get like 10 if she snitch. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, it's niggas out here having a million dollars worth of drugs and be getting like five years and not even snitching. So, depending, depending on what you do with your lawyer, all she got to do is just tell who it was and she'd be straight. True. But anyway, can we get a final update on the tip real quick before we leave, man? Because cause I think you said 198. I need to like let it sink Boom, in. Boom, there we go. She got a little bit. 109, 198. <laughs> digga, that ain't nothing, digga. Hey, man, this has been another episode of Random Master Podcast. This may or may not be the last episode. We'll see, bro. It's looking a little bleak, man. We'll know. We'll be back. Uh, oh, shit, we'll be back Monday. We'll let you know if we're on a, a plantation or not. Yeah, we're going to tell y'all what the climate is hitting for. Yeah. You know, it's hiding them fields. <laughs> yeah, man. We Yeah, we definitely, We I don't think we'll be able to bring this equipment out there. But if we are... You may hear some when we recording. I'm be like, hey Joe, man, this is another. We be like, hey Joe, man, uh, let's get into real niggas a week in the year. Stop hitting me with that whip. Yeah, shit. Whew, I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> I'm about to go home and start packing my valuables. Great. <laughs> yeah, I will say this, man. Hey, get y'all a gun, bro. A few. Get y'all, yeah, get y'all some guns, especially in Florida, bro. You ain't even need no permit no more. Get y'all some weaponry. Oh yeah, the it, next four years gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's about to get crazy out here, man. The next four years gonna be crazy. Yeah, this shit insane. I can't believe it, actually. Brother, brother, brother. I thought that lady was going to win by a landslide. Y'all said I she, thought so, too, honestly. Y'all said she was going to win by a landslide, man. But it is what it is, man. With all that said, we out. <laughs>